Why is it taking you so long to pull over, man? Uh, I didn't mean to. Is that you again? You again? How's it going? How's it going, man? It's not every day you hear an officer and a suspect say, it's you again, to each other. And the reason for that is because after the end of this very day, it'll be the fourth time in that same year that this driver will be getting arrested. Put in park for me. Okay. All right, how about with your license? I don't even know my license is, man. Please don't do this to me today, man. Do what to you today? You took forever to pull over. I was, I was trying to Even get off the road. Doing... I was trying to get off the road. No, man. you were reaching all around, digging all around. So how about with your license? On October 20th, 2022, a Florida police officer pulled over a blue sedan after the officer had observed the vehicle cut off an unmarked patrol vehicle, causing him to brake and avoid a crash. Immediately after the incident, the officer proceeded to pull over the vehicle, but the driver continued driving for over a minute and a half. During this period, the deputy noticed the man behind the steering wheel was rocking back and forth in the car, like someone looking to hide evidence. I'm not asking you for nothing else. I don't know if my license is even in here, sir. Any 60, 10, 60, my license is in here. My license is not in here. Okay. Where's your license at? I'm not sure. All right, hop out. Hop out. You can leave that stuff. I'm gonna record it, man. That's You're already being recorded. I want to record it for my, for me. All right, hop out. I'm not gonna ask you again. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna record this. Upon approaching the vehicle, the officer noticed that the suspect was none other than Stephen Joel Horton. Joel had already been arrested three times that year, and that's why they knew each other. Hop out. Hop out. Yes, sir. I'm hopping out. I'm asking you, telling you to hop out. I'm out. Yes, sir. Get Put your out. hands up there for me when you yes, hop sir, out. Look. Don't look. grab nothing. I'm just trying to pull my pants Huh? You took forever to pull over, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to get off the No, you already, already pulled off. You were already pulled over. I swear to God, man. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to do nothing else today. I'm trying to go home, man. I'm tired. I just found out all my stuff has gone off my property. I'm not doing nothing wrong, so all I right. promise to God, man. Well, you were pulled off, okay? I'm sorry, man. You sorry. were already pulled off the road. I'm not, I swear to God. I'll and then you kept reaching around, digging around the vehicle. I was digging around the vehicle. Yeah, you were. God, wasn't, man. And pulling off. I'm not trying to give you any trouble. When the officer asks Joel for the reason he didn't pull over on time, he said it was because he was trying to get off the road. He also said he was speeding because he was tired and in a hurry to get home. But the officer knows Joel is lying through his teeth. And the reason is because Joel has been trembling and shaking nervously from the first moment he saw the officer. What happens next is absolutely incredible. Oh, right now you're being detained. You're not under arrest. You okay, hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all good. Just hang tight. I'll explain it to you in a minute. Like I said, you took forever to pull over, right? Listen. Listen to me. You're not listening to me. You got burnt tin foil in your driver door. Huh? I don't break this one my driver door. Yes, you do. Come on, man. I swear to God, I don't, man. Which is common with narcotics usage. Paraphernalia. Okay. You got this huge knife by your foot, too. You got this huge knife by your foot. Grass? This right here is burned tinfoil, bud. What you got in your shorts? Huh? I'm not sure, man. As Joel stepped out of the car, the officer noticed a burnt piece of tinfoil in Joel's driver's door, something very common with people that use or deal in narcotics. The officers also found a butcher knife lying at the foot of the driver's seat. But if you think that's all the cops were gonna find, think again. What you got in your shorts? Huh? I'm not sure, man. Spread your feet, man. Okay. I'm not playing this game. I got it. Spread your feet. It. What you got in there? Pull it out. Huh? Yeah, take, I'll pull it out. What you. is it? Huh? I'll what is it? it? I'll get it, man. I'll get it. No, for you. I'm, I'm getting it. What is it? A little box or something. It's nothing, man. Here, I'll get a cigarette down. Yeah, drop a cigarette out. Shake it out of there. Can it come out? Huh? I'll get it. I'll get it out of there. I don't know. I don't know what you, what you mean. What do you mean you don't know what it? Huh? What is it? I don't know, man. What'd you just grab? I'm not sure who told Joel this would work, but pretending not to know about something you did won't stop the police from charging you with whatever crime you commit. Is this the Twilight Zone right now? No. All right, pull it out. What is it? I'm gonna play this game with you, bud. Uh, you know they're gonna find it regardless. Here it is, right here. 
this is what he had. This is what fell out of his pant leg. That's what I felt up there. A little meth. Yeah, probably fentanyl in here and then meth in there. The officers found a small tin in Joel's pants containing three clear plastic baggies. One of the baggies had meth in it, while the other two had residue traces of fentanyl inside of them. Meth shards? You guys good? Yeah. yeah. We just gotta finish searching. Joel was arrested and taken to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility where he was booked on six charges, including felonies of evidence tampering, possession of fentanyl, possession of methamphetamine, and possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. On September 24th, 2022, Florida police officers in Melbourne were going about their normal day when a victim walked up to them to report a suspect who had allegedly spat on him. What's the matter? Did you spit on him? I did not. Oh, he's saying you did. Well, then he can f All right, come on over here. The suspect tells the officers that she didn't spit on anyone, but given the disrespectful manner in which she'd spoken to the law officials, the officers decided to investigate the matter further by interviewing both the suspect and victim at different intervals. Raise your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? What happened today? I was just walking down the sidewalk and she looked at me and so I smiled and just nodded my head at her and she just spat on me. And then they just said, why well, you have to start spitting on people? And then they got up in their face yelling at them, flipping them off and just trying to start a fight. Did you see him or her spit at anybody else? No. And you've never met this person before? No. And you never gave them permission to spit on you? No. And you like to pursue charges for battery? Yes. I swear that's the truth. The victim tells the officer that he was walking on his own when the suspect, identified as Lloyd, suddenly came up to him and spat at him for no reason. You got ID? No. You don't have ID? Nope. All right, come on over here. And listen, if I spit on him, it was because stop. I'm drunk. Stop. It's stop. because I'm drunk. Stop. And if you stop, stay still. Stop walking up on me, okay? No. You're not gonna me like this. Hey. I'm trying to investigate a crime. It ain't no crime. They're alleging that you spit on him. So I gotta find out what happened. Okay? I was now, spitting on someone might not seem like so much of a big deal, but depending on the severity of the circumstances surrounding the event, spitting on someone might be considered a common assault, battery, or even both. I was. Um, no, one hold up. No, no, hold up. Stop. No one said bull. Stop. I'm drunk. Stop. Okay, you're drunk, so don't make this more than it is, all right? You just are. Relax. You're making it relax. more than it is. Okay? Just relax. You are making it more than it is. Not me. Stop. No. Relax. Like this. I didn't spit on nobody on okay. purpose. Well, if it was you an know, accident, that's fine, but I gotta take it. I gotta figure out what happened. Okay, right? so let me go over there and beat the out of this mother. Oh. He's a lying piece of shit. Don't look at me like that. As you can see, an obviously drunk Lloyd does not deny spitting on the victim. However, she does tell the officer that the act was purely accidental and not intentional. And to be fair to Lloyd, she could have been telling the truth. This makes her next decision absolutely shocking. Alright, let's go stay in the shade, okay? Uh oh, okay. Come on. Let's go stay in the shade. You know what? I'm about to go on you. Man, I'm trying to help you. Go over here. Man! Man! Really? Is that what you said? Person. If you spit on me, you're going to jail. That's exactly what happened before. Back up. No. F you. Go sit over there. F you. Will you stay with me? Let's go. This person. You. Get the f away from me. Stay. Go. Hold. Sit. F you. Disorderly conduct, spitting 52. I did there. not spit on anybody. Sit. Stay. And no more than I did you. Because I'm pissed off. Oh. Spitting on a stranger on the road is bad enough, but picking a fight with an officer of the law and then spitting on him is where you cross the line and make yourself available for an arrest. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. No. You're not going to give me that <laughs> resisting. You mother <laughs> are wrong. Give me your arm. Stop resisting. Give me your arm. Stop resisting. You liberal. You liberal. You liberal. I get it.
You're wrong, mother. I didn't give. Sit up. I did not spit on anybody. Hey, hey, you, 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 you liberal piece of. I didn't spit on nobody. I was pissed off, drunk. And that's it. After getting arrested, Lloyd was taken to the police headquarters where she continued to make things more difficult for herself. Can you help? No, get the away from me. Come on out. I'm trying. See you in the chair. I'm trying. Piece of liberal. Sit down. You garbage. You liberal garbage. You're what? Right. Off my head. I never spit on anybody. You garbage. Never spit on anyone. Because you're a you believe this bullshit, you're a mother liberal. That's why take this off my head. I ain't spitting on nobody. I never spit on nobody. I was drunk and I was mad. That's all. You're a liberal, are you? Huh? Own it. Own it if you are. Yeah, you You can't own nothing, can you? Not sure what being a liberal has to do with anything here, but eh, it seems to make her feel better. What a Are you going to listen to what I'm saying? No. You ask me a question, I'm going to give you an answer. Spit it out. I vote for who I like to vote for. Okay. And who is that? Right now, not you. You're, no. You're not I know. I know that. But is it what? DeSantis What's or Chris? What is it? DeSantis uh, or Chris? Answer. Tell me. Red or blue? Where did you get? Did you get hurt today? Yeah. Where yeah. Did you get hurt at? My Hurt me bad, Where knocked me down at? on the goddamn ground, and I didn't do. Where are you hurt at? On my arms, on my legs, all over me. That's it. They uh, knocked me uh, under the ground, now. drove my he around because of political. No, he wasn't a victim. Oh no, no, no I wasn't a victim. My knocked me to the goddamn ground and stepped on my head. I wasn't a victim. No. Liar! Babies are sleeping, man. I don't care. It's unclear why or where Lloyd got the idea that her arrest was politically motivated after she'd spat on a stranger and a police officer while also resisting arrest. I'm hurt, mother You hurt me. I didn't hurt you. Yes, you did. You dragged me ass on the ground, rubbed my face in the dirt. I wasn't there for that. Yes, you were. I showed up at the end with a car to transport you. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's your excuse. What about your buddies that did that before you got there then? I don't even know what happened before I got there. Oh, that's your cop out, is it? Lloyd was charged with resisting an officer without violence, resisting an officer with violence, disorderly intoxication, two counts of battery, simple battery, threat of death, possession of less than 20 grams of cannabis, and possession of drug paraphernalia. It all begins with the suspect, Katie McDonald, resting on the ground next to a tree. She is suspected of driving while intoxicated and causing property damage after consuming, quote, at least seven beers. Hello? Hey. Hey. Talk to us. Who are you talking to? What's your name? Did you say Candy? Katie. Katie. She, she works for us. Are you alright? Get up. You got ants crawling all over you. You got ants crawling all over you. I know, I know, it hurts. Alright. Ow! Ow! Come on. What are you doing? What happened? I didn't hear you. She was unable to stop weeping despite the cops' attempts to question her about what had occurred. Uh, are the guys, uh, do you see the guys? They're gone? Okay, come on over here. Let's go over here and have a seat. Come on. You're safe. Come on. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. I've been drinking a lot, but I, I just wanted to get away from you. Please hurt me. Okay. All right. All 
All right. <sighs> The cop then proceeded to read her the Miranda rights and questioned her about what had transpired. Just step up over here for me. It's right, right up here. Right up here to the front. Right up closer to the front. Alright. I'm going to have you step over here for me. Or face me, okay? Alright. I know, uh... <laughs> Complete the crash investigation. I have, I have to read you this, okay? You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. I have him or with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Oh, yeah, you're not under arrest, okay? Having those rights in mind, you want to talk to me? Okay. All right, you shake your head yes, okay? So I'm just gonna, can you tell me what happened with the crash? Can you start from the beginning? Finally, she disclosed to the cop that she had been in a pub in the downtown area and that a group of males had been following her. According to her, she made an effort to flee from the males, who she said were threatening her throughout the whole incident. <laughs> These guys followed me out of the, of the, of the, the store. I haven't seen them before and they just look at me like they're going to do something so dirty to me and I'm scared. I try, I try to act brave and I try to act tough because, because I'm a little person. Okay. I know you said something about you were at O'Malley's. Yeah. And there were some guys there bothering you. They always bother me. The same guy. Okay. The same guy. And you told the bartender there that they were bothering you? Yes, I told And he told you to wait? Yes, he took me every time. But. Okay. Did you call for any law I enforcement called, or call for somebody? I called for him to come and pick me up, but he wasn't able to come and pick me up. Okay, well, what about any other law enforcement or anything if they were bothering you? The law enforcement, no, because I'm. I know what it's like to, to be in law enforcement and I don't want to bother law enforcement with that sort of responsibility. Okay. All right. So you, you, you stated that you ran out of, out of O'Malley's and got in your car and drove off. I just wanted to leave. I just wanted to leave me alone. Okay. I understand. And I want them to touch me. Were you in the car by yourself? Yeah. yeah. I called my friend AJ and I told him, I'm like, I, I don't want them, to, I don't want them to touch me, and I don't want them to, to be anywhere near me, and, and he kept saying that they were, and, and then he said, don't drive, don't drive, don't drive, but I was like, I'm so lost, because he was sick tonight. At this time, the cop made the decision to examine her eyes in order to determine the extent of her drunkenness. Okay. All right, I want you to follow your eyes and your eyes only, don't move your head, okay? Are you wearing contacts? Yes. Okay. Now, the cop requested the suspect to recite the alphabet. All right, go ahead and take your head back. Close your eyes. When you're ready, ma'am, you may begin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All right. All right. All right, Caitlin. Hang tight a second. Oh, no game. Okay. All right. Um. Let's step to the back. Okay. All right, 
you are being placed under arrest for driving on the influence of an alcoholic beverage or any substance set forth in Chapter 893. Under Florida law, you are required to submit the law of test to your breath for the purpose of determining alcohol content. Will you submit to a breath test? Yes? Okay. Just sit right there for me. Last but not least, the cop decided to administer a breathalyzer test to the suspect. Thus, her breath test scores were 0.2 and 0.198, above the state's allowable limit of 0.08. Keep going, 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 keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, all right. Sorry, I couldn't hear the tone. Yeah. summarize everything, with charges of driving under the influence of alcohol and causing property damage, McDonald was taken into custody and sent to the Marion County Jail. In the latter part of the day, she was freed after posting bail. Also, less than 24 hours following her arrest, McDonald was fired from her position. Despite being a whiny child, she was granted release on bond. In the heart of West Palm Beach, Florida, a routine day took an unsettling turn on February 25, 2023, when two stores independently reported a man, characterized by a yellow shirt and a beard, allegedly stalking an underage girl at the local mall. Well, the police, armed with witness statements, swiftly intervened. As the suspect's denials clashed with mounting evidence, an officer exposed inconsistencies in the situation. Check this out. Uh, I was with my parents. We were going to buy candles for our house, and I was smelling some candles, and I noticed a guy who was like, walking around. I just thought just a regular person, and then I guess he was trying to move, but he, was, he rubbed up against me. Okay. And when you say rubbed up against you, um, it, it may be hard to tell. Just tell me how did he rub up against you? Um, like in a sexual way, like his private part. His private part rub up, up, up against you? Yes. Where did his private part rub up against you? My butt. Okay. Yeah, All right. he's not having that. He's like, no, you try to jump on the table. Get the other jump on the table? Yeah, see, he doing a little bit too much now. I'm trying to run the business. So I just need y'all to escort them out. If y'all need footage or whatever, you can come back. The other guy, the other guy yeah. needs to go? I can walk around. Yeah, same same rule, I think we had at the Nike store, innit? I don't remember that. This guy, that's Brian, he's right there. He's saying that a guy brushed up against him. Yeah, yeah, that's what she was just telling him. Every parent's greatest fear is undoubtedly the thought of their child falling prey to a sexual predator. In this incident, the victim narrated her experience inside the store, innocently browsing candles, when she suddenly felt the intrusive touch of someone pressing their body against hers from behind. It was at this moment that her father intervened, swiftly stepping in to protect his daughter and ensure her safety. How you doing? Good, good. How you doing, boss? You mind just step outside and talk to us real quick? Yeah, sure. That guy was crazy at my door. We, we got you. Come yeah. on. Follow my partner. Some, some people were witnesses around here. They saw, like, okay. what this guy did and, like, he even made me, like, break handles because he, like, tried to... No, no problem. It was just step right outside. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah. My partner will talk to you in a second. Okay. You got you got Let's an ID? You have an ID on you? Just get walking oh, yeah. behind the truck. Just I get them out of the view of these people. All. You don't have the water on you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Do me a favor, just lean up against the truck right here. Alright. We're just gonna have to verify who you are. Yeah. Alright? Just one moment. We're gonna have to just verify who he is. He doesn't have a photo ID on him. Alright? What's your, what's your last name? Ali, A-L-I. Alright, tell us what happened here. What, what went down? Okay, so I was passing by as I was like kind of like, huh? like this distance mm -hmm. and like my phone rubbed on this guy's water and he absolutely like freaked out because I don't know, like, his, like I have people in there that can literally say that I literally did barely anything wrong and this guy literally like went out of his way 
So break candles, number one. What's your, number what's your two, first name? put his listening. arms around my neck. I'm listening. Yeah, what's your first yeah, number name? Two. Number three, he's, okay, yeah, I'm breaking the candles, right? He said he's gonna shove a candle in my very, 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 very weird. Um, he started screaming. All the people that work there can tell you. All right. Well, that's basically what, what happened. This guy's screaming at the top of his lungs, uh, cursing in every way he could, uh, in front of his daughter, in front of everyone, in front of the people that work there. Um, his wife, I think she was kind of scared. I don't really know what else to say. I felt threatened. Uh, he broke, he like caused the situation. He like, caused me to bump into the aisle, and then two candles fell out, bro, three or right, I don't so, even know so, how many. But. So, what are we doing here? Because <clears throat> this isn't the first time we got called about you, right? Yeah, what I don't understand here is that, I mean, literally, like this guy just. I don't know the guy. I don't know the guy at all. I don't. He's a stranger. I get it, but it's the um, second time customers in a different store have said that you rubbed up on something, right? Okay. okay. What's it? Okay, I can understand. So two times, it's not a coincidence after that, right? I understand that. Because two different stores within the past two hours is called on you. Do you see where, Yeah, see, I see. see the issue? Yeah. Um, so, I mean. We just gotta verify your information, and then we're, we're gonna figure out what to do from there. Okay. The guy tried to depict a different story, mentioning he did nothing wrong. But the cops didn't buy it, and they put handcuffs on him, making it clear they were standing by the girl's side. Well, they received calls against him from two different stores within two hours. They weren't buying any excuses for what he did. I just have a question. Did you guys hear any feedback from the people that worked there, or at least like somebody that was in there, or anything besides me? And that guy? I, I did. Yeah. You did? Okay, thank you. Because, like, if any, like, I just want you guys to know that these people could, like, know okay, that. Okay, but what happened to But I'm saying. I don't, I think, I honestly think that this is too much. Um, I, I, I understand that since he, you know, tried to abuse me pretty much. I get what you're um, saying, but they, they, they called been two times. Guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? This okay. is the second part. So I got that. It, 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 it's starting to become a pattern. If we keep getting calls about the same thing, Something's happening. It's not random people just going, oh, this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really saying, him. like, in this situation right here, like, nothing bad happened at all. And if they have cameras there, you can completely watch it, do whatever. Let me ask a question. Do you, uh, do you have any mental disabilities or anything? No, like no, I don't have any mental disabilities. How long have you been living in Florida? I've been born and raised there, dude. Been there born and raised? Do you have a driver's license? I don't have it on me. Do you have one? It's in my car. Yeah. But you do have one? So you say your driver's license is in your car? Yeah. Where's your wallet? That's in the car. So, what do you, what do you, are you buying anything? What are you doing? You just, are you buying, how are you going to play? How are you, you going to shop for stuff without a wallet? I'm seeing if I want anything. I have, I'm on a budget. I'm seeing if I want anything. So you leave a wallet in the car? Yeah, it's really not too far, to be honest. Okay. And I'm meeting my friends. All right. So now, now you see how this looks, right? We're getting these different calls about about you, your activity, but you you claim to go in these stores shopping without a wallet, no identification, nothing. So this is why we're talking to you about what's going on. I understand. So you understand okay. how this looks? Okay. Uh, and then the people in the yeah, I, know, but, I mean, it is you know a public mall. So listen, like, for an ID, listen. the ID is not really. The people in Nike say you go in there for hours, almost every day, and just stand around. No, you I never been there that? every day. I never go during the week. I've been there a couple times, yeah. I don't and go there on a regular basis at all. Stand around. Stand around. What do you mean? Do you stand around in there for hours? St oh, stand around. Uh, no, I don't stand around. But you stand in there for hours. They have really nice shoes, so I look at shoes. For I two see hours. They have my size. No, not two hours. I see if they have my size in certain shoes, see if I like anything. But I'm, I'm saying like, uh, where you said that they, they said I was there for like every day. Not every day. For really. hours, definitely not. They say you come in a lot. A lot? I mean, I, I guess so. All right. So we're going to find out, we're going to uh, speak with management here, see what they want. I don't know if they want, oh, okay. I'm going to walk them out of my car. Y'all got an ID and everything on him? Well, I got his DL number. All right. I'm going to bring him over. Any one of y'all got David? I just, they just did random David. They ran him? They just did him. But I got David. Yeah. All right. 
Right, what, what's up? I'm gonna take him over to the car. What's going on? Is this just to get the, 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 the mm -hmm. car? Relax, you know. Okay, I yeah. am. Is, ju is this just to get to the car, though? We're gonna figure out what's going on. Yeah. Where'd okay. you park? I'm right here by the phone. Okay. I just really want to free. I feel you like I literally did nothing wrong. Yeah. Where's your car? It's, uh, yeah. Just pull up, pull up over there. In the end, the suspect found himself handcuffed, relegated to the back of the police car, and on his way to the police station for more questioning. Eventually, he got moved to the county jail, dealing with charges of sexual assault. How you doing? Hey, I'm Deputy Young. The reason I'm pulling you over is because you only got one tail light working right now, okay? Yes, sir. All right, can I get your license, registration, proof of insurance? Is this the puppy back there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Kaylee and her partner have just been pulled over by a sheriff deputy for having a missing tail light. But as the deputy waited for the driver to provide her license to him, he noticed something strange that would change the course of everything. Any weapons in the car that you know about? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes, sir. Okay. Where are you coming from? Picking me up and we go out to get in the room. Okay. you have an ID on you, sir? Uh... Um, I might have. I might. I might. I might. Yeah, really had your name on, like a uh, card or something, like a debit card or something like that. I do have my ID. I just it was loose earlier. Okay. And uh, hit that for me. When an officer pulls a driver over, it's normal to be worried, even when the driver has done nothing wrong. But when the driver starts fidgeting and shaking nervously, it's usually because they're hiding something. No priors, they're nervous hell, the hands won't stop shaking. He's got a commit. That's why he's shaking. I don't know why she's shaking. All right, we'll go to 54. As you just heard, Kaylee's clean, but her passenger, on the other hand, has an existing warrant, which might explain why he was shaking. Calm down, sir. Hey, hey. calm down, calm down, calm hey, down. Step up for me. Come on. Face that way. Face that way. Come on. Face that way. Come on. Just relax. Relax, man. Relax. relax. I, I, I am. Can you tell me what's wrong? No. Got a warrant for your arrest. Sir, Come in. Yes, sir. I'm going to use. I promise I, I'm going to pay that tomorrow. Wait, I know. We don't have a choice. Today. Huh? We don't have a choice, though, but a, ju a judge put a warrant on you. Man. I sir, sir, if I, I, don't, if I don't go pay that tomorrow, I will turn myself in myself. Uh, you know how many times we heard that, right? No, sir. I don't know how many times, but this, you see where I'm at? I see where you're at. I, I will be. I will be. Worried that the man and the woman were involved in some sort of drug deal with the woman, the deputy had another officer bring his canine to do a free air sniff around the vehicle. Do me a, fa do me a favor, ma'am. Do, do me a favor. Roll your windows up and step out the car for me, okay? I don't want the dog to jump out, so roll your windows up for me. Yeah, I'm going to explain everything to you. Step out. I'll explain everything to you. So have a seat right there. The reason I got you out of the car is I have a narcotics detection canine. I'm going to run my dog around your car as part of his traffic stop. He's requested me to do that. So I had you roll the windows up so that the dogs don't interfere with each other. Normally, officers cannot search a suspect's vehicle without a warrant or probable cause. And that's where the canine comes in. If the canine ends up detecting any form of narcotic in the car, the officers will have every right to search the car. Yes. Man, load. All right, so I'm not saying there's anything in there right now. I'll tell you the way this works, okay? When is the last time anybody has used narcotics in that vehicle? Or had narcotics in that vehicle? Nobody. So I'm going to search the car. There's not going to be any shake. There's not going to be... You're not searching my car. I am searching your car. My dog alerted on the car. It's probably going to search your car. So, no, he did not. Okay. Kaylee tells the officer that there's no narcotic in her car, even though the dog alert says otherwise. She also panics and tells the officer he cannot search her car, which more or less confirms the truth. Sir, you cannot search my vehicle. If you start arguing and interfering, you're going to search my vehicle. I can tell you, no. you cannot search my vehicle. You have no reason. What's your probable cause? My dog alerted. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Are you a parent? Stop, stop. Hey, hey, hey. Kaylee. Kaylee. 
This thing. So you know the difference, Kaylee. You know, I'm not even smacking. You're not a cannon. You're not searching my vehicle. Can you, you get your dog? No stop! Cars. Stop! Stop! Can you get your dog out of the car for me? Yes. No. Maybe. Why not? Can I speak to your supervisor? Can you get the dog out of the car for me? After I speak to your supervisor. If you oh, you know go hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me explain one thing to you, ma'am. You are not in charge here, okay? Can you please get your dog out so I don't have to? We're gonna call animal control if you don't get the dog. Out. I, I don't want to hurt the dog. <clears throat> I have my. I don't want to hurt your dog. Can you please get the dog out for me? Telling the officers they have no right to search your car when there's a dog alert isn't just silly, it's ridiculous. A dog alert gives officers every right to search a suspect's car. Every the dog barks when, uh... So just like, like how people are different from each other, every dog is different, alright? I've seen dogs bark, I've seen dogs uh, sit down, I've seen dogs just stare and point with their nose. I, I'm not that dog's handler, so I can't tell you what that dog's alert is. But apparently he alerted, okay? <clears throat> you pulled me over for a brake light. Tail light. Okay, but that's what you pulled me over for. Correct. So how does this have to do with a tail light? Well, his dog did a free air sniff and it alerted to your, the prison of narcotics to your vehicle. But there's no narcotics in there, you have nothing to worry about. I just don't understand how that has to do with having a tail light. While I was doing my traffic stop, dog did a free air sniff. As you can tell, Kaylee's getting agitated, which is weird considering she told the officers that there's nothing in her car. No probable cause of bringing the dog out and searching my feet. I don't need. I don't need probable cause to have yes, the dog come do. out. Yes, you do. Okay. An officer in my family. Yourself. We can run a dog around any vehicle we want to as long as it's part of a traffic stop. We don't have to have probable cause for that. There's any female. Sorry, for Again, there is no law bounding officers from bringing their dogs out for an air sniff. If an officer thinks there's probable cause to bring a canine to go around a suspect's car, then he or she has every right to do so. Okay, well, we'll see the dog, quick. Alright. What are you- Wanna what hold this dog for me real quick? What are you grabbing me for? Cause I'm about to put you in handcuffs. That's not my stuff! That's not my so stuff! Open the car! That's not mine! Right, get more targets back. That's not mine! Stop. We'll figure it all out. We'll see what she says about it. We have one more unit, 10-8. Yeah, we're 10-4. We got a adult female. Adult male 10-50. Hold on, stop, 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 stop. Stop. I'm trying to adjust your cuffs. Silly. Stop She's moving! My wrist. Stop no, moving! Not They're not tight. He's trying to fix it. The more you move around, stop I'm moving. moving. You are moving. I'm watching. No, I'm stop. How much dope have you done tonight, by the way? I, I don't do dope. As expected, the officers found an undisclosed amount of cocaine after searching Kaylee's car, which she immediately said belonged to the passenger in her car. Did you find anything in my? No. The You're the driver of the car. It's your car. Stop! It's in your car. Possession's on his. I picked him up. How am I supposed to know what he has in his stuff? See what it says. Hopefully, he says it says. Ask him. <clears throat> it's not mine. Have a seat. It's not mine, sir. The officer's right, unless the man in her car says otherwise. Anything found in her car, by law, belongs to her. So. Where are we all coming from again? I picked him up from... Uh, I don't know whose house it was, but it was over from Michigan. It was by this bag. Okay. <laughs> who, who was E.T.? A friend of mine. Okay. 
more like a friend with benefits type thing. Okay. So, <laughs> what in that car is yours? Just a white bag and the makeup bag and uh, the beach stuff. Okay. Have you ever used narcotics before in the past? Yeah, like. Okay. What did months you? Months ago. I mean, okay. I. What did you I'm use in the past? My kids back. <laughs> what did you use in the past? Kaylee continues to maintain her innocence, even though the officers know she's lying to save her skin. Is there anything else that she used in the past? Yeah, when I was a teenager. Well, what did you use as a teenager? <laughs> okay. Anything else that you use? All right. Do you do any pills? Okay. When you used to take cocaine, how did you ingest it? Eat it. Eat it? Is that, that sounds nasty. Does he use any narcotics? Clearly, if y'all found it. <laughs> Both suspects were arrested and charged with possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of controlled substances. Oh, he's driving that car. Okay. Car. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, man, we're, we're, we're coming into the stop, and I, I, I just escaped it. Was she stopped, or? No, no, she was good. Man. She was she traveling? Yeah, no, she didn't do nothing. No, I'm saying, was she traveling, or were you st was she stopped? No, she was stopped. She was one, stopped. Man. Can I get your license, registration, insurance, please? Yeah, yeah, she was stopped. How are you? Can you tell me what happened? Oh, uh, yeah, I was just sitting at the red light, and I just got slammed into the back. Have a good on December 15th, 2022, in Florida, a police officer responded to a traffic accident involving two cars. Luckily, neither of the two drivers were injured, allowing the responding officer ample time to investigate how the crash had occurred in the first place. What do you need, man? What do you need? Insurance card yeah. and registration. Okay. This is the third time I'm telling you, sir. No, I know that. Okay, then why do you keep asking oh, the question? Because I keep asking. Okay. There's no problem with asking. Yeah, I keep telling you what, what I need is, and then you keep asking. Oh, no, 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 no. I got a straight man. Okay, all right. No, and that's, I'm okay. sorry about that. All righty. Okay. All right. We're now transitioning from a graphic crash to a DUI investigation. All right, talking to you. No water alcohol. See the indicators of impairment. Give me my butt. After a few conversations with the male suspect, the officers noticed his speech and actions were slurred, allowing the officers to transition from a traffic crash to a DUI investigation. Driving on the influence, okay? Really? Yeah, I gotta really? read this to you. Really? Yeah, I gotta read really? your rights to you. Really? Yes, I'm serious. Really? Oh. You understand the rights I've read to you? No, I don't. You want to read them again? Yeah, read them 400 times. I'm not reading 400 times. No, it's you yes read them. No. You read them. Yes no. You read them. Do you understand? Yeah, you read them, man. What did you not understand? You read them. All right. Read them. That's how this is going to work. Okay, well, okay. there you go. Then we got a problem. All right, I want to do a couple roadsides to make sure you're okay to drive. Are you willing to perform the task to make sure you're okay to drive? Probably better than you, man. Okay, so you want to perform the task that I'm asking you to do? It involves walking a straight line, bouncing one foot. Check your eyes out. Are you willing to do the task? <laughs> are you willing to do Who the task? Who are you? Are you Who are you? Driving under the influence is a serious crime, and penalties for this could range from fines and probation to license suspension and even imprisonment. This makes it all the more surprising to see why this man can't realize the severity of the situation he's gotten himself into. My name is William Buttsbach. I work for the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department. That's Jason Jung. You are yeah, the, you, you are the same department. guys that shoot people, man. Coming off okay. the Are you going to perform the task that I'm requesting no, of I'm you? I'm asking you. Okay. If you refuse to perform the task that I'm requesting of you, I'm going to have to use everything up to this point. This is your Taylor warning now. If you refuse to do that, I'm going to have to use based off observations to crash and everything to this point and make an arrest based on what I know to this point. So are you refusing to perform the road signs that I'm asking you? You startled 
You started all the crap. No, no, I didn't start this. I was very kind to that girl. Okay, and we're past that point. So if you refuse to do what I'm asking yeah, you, no, I didn't start all the. If you refuse to do what I'm asking fucking you, bastards. then I'm gonna have to make an arrest based on the totality of circumstances up to this point. Are you willing to perform the roadside? Yeah. What do you want to do? Okay, come stand right over here. Yeah. Okay. Refusing to perform DUI tests doesn't particularly come with any major repercussions, except for the fact that you will be arrested. However, most people perform sobriety tests, believing that being cooperative would help them get out of the situation. Stand right there with your feet together, heels touching, toe touching. Just okay. like me. Heels touching, toes touching. Hands down to your side. Put your there toes, you go, buddy. Toes together, just like me. Keep your hands to your side. I haven't had nothing to drink today. Okay, what medication do you take? I take a lot of medication. What's a lot of medication? What do you take? Are you a doctor? No. Are what you, do you a take? doctor? If you're refusing to do what I'm asking you, you're going to do No, this, okay, I'm just okay. Take you to jail. Here, 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 here. I'm ready. I'm listening. Okay. I'm all ears. I take. I take. I take. Uh, you Really, it's a problem. It's a problem. I don't know what the problem is. The problem's you. Okay. I'm sorry to be so confused. I don't know why you have to be asked. No, do my job. I'm just sorry. I'm just okay. I'm sorry. I, I appreciate it. Okay. If you're not impaired, no problem. You can get on our, with our day. All right. Do you have any problems walking a straight line or balancing on one foot? As the tests proceeded, the suspect made life miserable for the officers by refusing to cooperate with them. See the tip of this pen right here? Yeah, I see. I want you to follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Yeah. All right? Follow this. I see it, bro. Yeah, I see it. You gotta follow it. Yeah, I see it. I see it. What's the, well, what's the issue? The pen. I see it. It's in front of me. Well, stop looking at me. Follow the pen. I see it. I'm not asking you to see it. I'm telling you to follow it. Go ahead. Go back into the stance. I oh, you. you're irritating your me, side. man. You're irritating Hands me. Hands down at your side. There. Follow the tip of my pen. Yeah, I see it. This is for you. I'm trying to make sure you're, not, you're okay to drive. That's all yeah. we're doing. I ain't driving so that easy, far back. I'll walk back to where I'm going. with me. Yeah, no, I understand. Our way, I understand, right? sir. Okay. I understand. So, I'm sorry. Help me help you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I see it. You're not following it. I'm following it. Eyes open. You know. You're making it hard to me. Just follow it. That's all you do. Well, everyone's following it. Watch it. Okay, go. Go. You can't move go. your head. Keep your, keep your head still. Yeah, I see it. I see you it. You have to keep looking at it. I see it. Trying to get a narcissist to follow simple instructions is incredibly hard, but getting a drunk one to follow simple instructions is literally impossible. You go ahead and get back into the position. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Don't ever come into a hospital where I'm at, baby. I hope you're not my nurse. I'll f you up bad. Okay. Okay? Just so we're clear. Okay. I'll f you up follow bad. Sorry, are you refusing to complete the exercise? No, no. Not at all. Follow the tip. No, of the you're in, you're incompetent to Follow do it. The tip of the you're incompetent. I see it. Don't move your head. Your head has to stay straight. Ah, oh, come on, do it. Sorry. You guys want to take your guns out? Stop me? moving. Don't tell me what to do and what not to do. After several minutes of trying to get the man to complete the tests to no avail, the officer proceeds to arrest the unidentified man. What happens next is absolutely crazy. At this time, you're under arrest. Okay? Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Don't pick me! Stop me! Stop resisting! I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, now we're good. I'm good. Yeah, we're good now. Come on, let's go. I'm good. I'm good. The unidentified man was eventually arrested and charged with DUI and resisting without violence. It all begins with a lieutenant of the fire department who was off duty and was involved in a car crash. When the police arrived, they were able to tell that the suspect had been drinking. Just. 
So, from here, would you consent to fields? Okay, we'll go ahead and add it. Call. You want to do field sobriety test? I don't want to end up in jail. <laughs> so, please don't. You can consent to fields. Justin, have you seen dead babies? I haven't seen nine! Okay. Mitch. Uh, uh, There's nothing I can do. Please don't do this to me right now. Now, the cop, who's also her friend, decides to check her eyes in order to determine the extent of her intoxication. So what I'll have you do is just stand right here in front of me, okay? I, I, have, to, I have to do what I have to do. Go ahead and just face towards me. Okay. What I'll have you do is put your feet together just like this, heel to heel, toe to toe, and keep your hands down by your sides, okay? Watch my fingers, just with your eyes, don't move your head, okay? Watching my finger. Keep watching my finger. It was at this moment that the suspect was really anxious that she would be fired from her job as a result of the arrest, and she begged the cop not to take her into custody. <laughs> so, we don't have to do the fields, okay? Okay. But, what I'm gonna do, okay, are you willing to give a breath test? I'm going to fail it. Okay. Are you willing to give one? That's what you want from me. I'll do it. Okay. So, I'm going to read something to you real quick, okay? Like I'm about to lose my job. Not yet. You know what Chief is going to make me lose my job? I'm going to get you a Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not do this. Okay, I have, I have, I have to do my job, okay? <laughs> have you seen dead kids? Be honest with me. I'm not trying I, to change your mind. Please, be honest with me. Now, have you seen dead kids? I, not in person, no. You heard about them? Yeah. Okay. So, when you're about to read this to me, understand that. Okay. And when you see a dead kid, you'll understand where I'm coming. Okay. Mike, please don't let this happen. So I'm about to... <laughs> no, I'm about to lose my job right about now. F*** now. Okay. I'm about to lose my job. There's a minute to the end yet. I don't want them taking me to the hospital. I'm about to lose my job. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to lose my job. Everything I worked so hard for. It's not a guarantee that you're going to lose it. He's never seen a dead kid. I understand, LT. I no. understand. Now, the cop decided to place the suspect in handcuffs and bring her to the police station for further investigation. Alright, well, go and put your hands behind your back, okay? Thanks for ending my career, Will. We'll go and put him up front. Do you have anything in your mouth? No, I don't. Okay. Well, would you mind lifting up your tongue for me? Okay. Does that help you? That's it. At the police station, the suspect begged the cop to contact her buddy, who was a firefighter, so that she might be calmed down. You are restrained. And you're right. Okay, I will see life through your eyes. Please just call Mike. Please. Please, I'm asking you. If I only ask you for one favor, 240-2854, please. Pull out your phone, please call him. I'm okay. sure he's on his way. Please, Brian. Please. If there's one person that can talk me down from everything I'm telling you right now, it's him. Please, please. Okay, he's on his way. You don't, please call him. Please. I 
in vain. Please. 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 Michelle, when dispatch tells me that he's on his way, I trust them. Okay, I trust that he's on his way. I'm glad that you trust him, because we don't. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Please, will you just call him? Brandon, please. Okay. Step four. At this point, the suspect shocked the cop by claiming that she was going to kill herself as soon as she was released from prison since she would be unable to keep her job anymore. I'm sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry too, man. I'm not trying to put you in this situation, but I'm calling you right now. If I have to go to jail, and then I get up. I will kill myself. And you can get me all the help you want in the world, but the minute I get out, I will kill myself. Okay. And I don't ever want you to change who you are, because I think you're a good officer. Deputy, sorry. Because I am asking for a lot right now. If I have to go to jail, I will. It will not be good when I get out. Furthermore, the suspect was acting belligerently toward her cop friend. She also ordered him to take her to prison. My hands are tied with what no, I'm allowed to tied. do. I f up my truck. My truck, my baby, my life is totaled, right? Right? Probably. Probably, yeah. I f up. I get that. I'm not asking okay, for a favor in that aspect. I asked happens, you to call Mike, Michelle. And I begged you to call Mike, did I not? Yeah. And you didn't want to do it, right? No, I called him once. No, not right away. No, not right away. There was a reason I couldn't do that was because the machine was going. And I explained that to you, Michelle. Just take me to the hospital, do what you gotta do, take me to the jail. Okay. I'll get released and I'll go home and I'll f my brains out. It is what it is, right? Oh. I don't want you to kill yourself. I don't care what you have to say. Throw me in the back of your car and do what you gotta do. In summary, she was charged with driving while intoxicated. Although she placed the responsibility for her mistake on her cop friend, this next individual will catch you by surprise. It all starts with a conflict between an ex-cop and a neighbor in the neighborhood. While under the influence of alcohol, the suspect is said to have shouted at and threatened the kids of the neighbor who lived in the area. What's going on? You want to talk at your house or you want to talk right in front of their house? I'm talking back in there from there. What's going on? Can you tell me? Well, we got called here. Something about them saying you made threats to their kids. Because we're sitting on our side of the wall. And they don't like it. And their kids are filming and saying you guys can't do this. And Sarah, aka Karen, wants to say that, like, my son Arnold is mentally disabled. You guys can't film him, blah, 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 whatever. Whose kid? Karen. AKA There's Sarah. A, she's saying that her kid is mentally disabled, so you guys can't you film? Have so much chew in your braces, or whatever it is. Chew? Oh, oh yeah. It yeah, it's chew. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I just chew. I'm sure, so sure you've seen it before if you recall, right? Yeah, I agree, Karen. Yeah. So, there are kids, and one, two neighbors over. We do film all the time. Okay. They want to cuss, they want to whatever. I don't care. Okay. Don't be a Karen in my block. So what? It so, we're on our side of the block, and she hates our wall. And I'll let you see our wall. Our wall is beautiful. And she, they finally come home, which I guess, which I, I get it, 9, 11, I don't know, whatever year old can be on your own. I don't know, they're kids that well. Yeah. So they come, and I'm sitting with the kids, and they're like, your eyebrows, or this and that, and I'm like, come at me with something I don't know. Like, eyebrows? What, I, don't, I don't know. Like they're making fun of you, or? I don't know. During this time, the suspect expressed her desire to confront the neighbor and asked the police to contact her. However, the police did not call her and instead detained the suspect. 
today's not the day you guys are going to resolve this. She doesn't want to talk to you today. I know she's not going to want to. In the future, maybe you can. Tell her right here. I, you know I can't force somebody to come have a conversation. No, I can't. You can ask her. No. You can ask her. No, I can't. Don't, don't to me. You guys are civil division. You can ask her. Because guess what? I will I'm not contact, a, I'm not in the I civil division. I will contact Alan and I will say, your deputies refuse to have some kind of civil conversation. And Sarah and her fat like oversized self can come out here and talk at this property line. And she can talk about it. And you guys can be the peacemakers. And you guys can come. You guys can record it. You guys can do whatever you need to do. Because I'm tired of them. I'm tired of Sophia. I'm tired of all of them being disrespectful to the kids that I babysit. It's not fair. Okay. It's not fair. I'm not going to so have her come talk Sarah. to you. I'm not going to okay, have her come well, talk I'm to you. I'm going to go knock on her door. You're not going to go knock on her door. I will. No, you're not. Yes, I will. You won't. I will. I'm telling you not okay. to go on her property, okay? Grab her. You cannot. Stop. I'm Stop. on private. I'm Stop. on Stop. public property. Stop. 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 I'm on public property. Stop. Put your hand on your back. Stop. I'm on public Stop. property. Stop. 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 Just stop. 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 I'm on public property. Stop. I'm on public property. Okay. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? Dude. Are you serious? I'm on Brian! Brian! The suspect began to fling herself on the ground, which made it more difficult for the cops to transport her to the police vehicle. I don't want to be on her property. I do not want to be on her property. I do not want to be on her property. Okay. Take a seat, okay? And I need support. On the street, because that's where you guys did it. No, go on the street. That's right where you guys did it. Right there. Okay, sit right here. Sit down. Or I am going to put you in the car. Do it. Friends. Call my mom and dad. Send for on Eastwood. Mm. What are you doing? Dude. Stop. Let me Get out into the road. That's We're not going to let you go out in the road to get hit by a car. I was in the road. Send for on Use the force. Yes, yes, force. Use the force. Use the force. We're gonna have to put her instead of you. Brian! Brian! Additionally, when the suspect was staying in the hospital because she had injured herself, she began to cause issues with the cop and attempted to break out of her handcuffs. Where are you going? What are my charges? Stop. What are my charges? Stop. What are my charges? Stop. Okay, what are my charges? Stop. Read them to me. Stop. Okay, read me my right. Stop. Read me my right. What are my charges? Stop. Tell me my charges. What are my charges? Stop. What are my charges? Read I already told you. 39, 41, blah, 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 whatever. You're not going anywhere. I have every right to. I don't need that. Don't hurt At this point, the deputy came and provided the suspect with an explanation of all the reasons why she was arrested. Your neighbors called me for a disagreement you guys had. I went over there told you that you need to go back inside your house and not have contact. You said no. Why don't you tell her to get her f out here so we could have a conversation in the street? I said, I am not going to do that. You requested that we are civil deputies and that we need to solve civil problems. You told me that you were going to call the sheriff, all the under, all the under sheriffs, and I said, go ahead. I said, but you're not going to go talk to her, and I'm not going to force you to come talk to her. You said, you know what, if you won't let me, I'll go over there. Oh, so on. I stopped you from was making the situation property? worse. Was I on personal property? I stopped you from making the situation okay, wait, worse. was I on personal okay, property? Okay, argue it in court all you want. Was I argue on you personal want. property? Okay. Argue all you want. Are you done? We're done. No. Okay. Was I on personal property when that happened? Let's go. Let's go. Was I on public property when that happened? Let's go. Let's go.
No. Was I on public Let's or go. private property when that happened? Let's go. No, you're not telling me. Let's Say go. It. Let's go. Say it on camera. Was I on public or I've private property? I've already said it plenty of times. You were on public property, but you were going to escalate a situation. I'm not going to let a fight happen in Do front of me. Do you not realize what happened before? Did you investigate what okay. happened before to Let's justify go. Let's go. anything? Let's go. To bring it all to a close, Chanda Vigil was charged with resisting arrest as well as violence on a law enforcement officer. Can who move his car? In just a second, give us a second. Now you want to leave because we said that. Invalid, no valid. Okay, just relax. We're going to get out your way in just a minute, I promise. This is the moment Chambly police officers confronted a male suspect after the officers observed him getting out of a stolen vehicle. Sir, you got an ID on you? With me? Yeah. What's on my ID? Can I check it out real quick? What I did? What's on my ID for? Because I saw you get out this car. Bro, that ain't my car, bro. I just saw me walk by that car, bro. I've been here with her. Bro. I was sitting right there and watched you step out of this car. Bro, I've been right here. Where's your her, driver's man. license at? You got any weapons or drugs on you? Man, I don't even got, got no weapon. They're gonna drive like this right there, I ain't y'all talking about. Alright, right, come over here for me. This your car, right? You just got out of it. I ain't got out of that car. Bro, I sat, we That's both sat there car. and watched you jump out the car. How y'all? Y'all? We saw you drive down this way, and you came right here, parked, and got out the car and walked up to her. I, bro, we're not gonna keep playing this game because I saw you get out the car. Bro, I've been talking to this girl the whole okay. time. Okay, That's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. The suspect continues to insist that he didn't get out of the car, even though the officers had watched him drive the car into the car park and attempt to flee the scene in another car after he'd seen the officers approaching him. Come, come over here, man. Right here. If they saw you get out this car, and you say you didn't get out this car, that's a problem. That's my witness right there. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's my witness right there, though. I hate what you're saying. I'm going to stand right over here. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. Hold up. Hold up. Stay right there. Stay right there. You got weapons on you, bro. I ain't going nowhere. Watch your hands. I ain't hitting nothing, bro. Hey, watch, watch your hands. Why y'all grabbing me like this? Right out of this car, man. Huh? Hey, bro, you, you oh, just pulled in the parking lot. Like we were sitting right there. I watched you drive around, come right here, you just back in, like, and you got out of the car. Now, lying to an officer is one thing, and there's little chance of you getting away with that. But calling an officer a liar, especially when he has his body cam on, that's where you draw the line. Hey, don't reach for nothing. Hey, don't reach for nothing, right man. There, that's illegal, yeah, bro. Don't touch. I ain't dead nothing, bro. Nothing. Put your hand. Don't you move. I ain't even dead nothing, bro. Y'all walked up around. on me for no Turn reason. Around. Put your hand on my back for me. You're just being detained, okay? You're not under arrest. What y'all walked up on me for, though, bro? We're gonna explain it to you. Because you don't understand. The suspect was later apprehended after the officers had found a gun and a key to the stolen car on him. But if you think that the suspect will just accept defeat and confess to his crimes now, that's because you have no idea how stubborn and delusional criminals are. He got cash in his left pocket, I left it in there. Alright. You got nothing in there, right? Uh, I'm trying to see what right y'all had. Just walk up on me. Oh, this is you. So what, what's your name? Um, I'm trying to figure out why they, why they messing with me, nobody, bro. Nobody, nobody's messing with you. I was with the girl, bro. I'm okay. standing up with the girl, bro. I watched you pull in the parking lot. Okay, so let me ask you a question. All right, we're going to keep it straight with you, right? Yeah, yeah, I ain't okay. did nothing, bro. How did you get here? Bro, I with her, bro. Me and Smith so, here, bro. Stop, stop, stop. He's saying, wait, 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 wait. He's saying, oh, wait, wait, wait. He's got to switch on his He does. That's what that is. Jesus Christ. That's exactly what that is. The officers then proceeded to search the car where they found weapon parts and drugs. Oh, he got weed in there? Oh, okay, well, we're searching anyway, so. Uh, now I'll take care of that so you ain't got to do no damn search hey, for it. I think that was out of his stuff, right? Yeah, it was in his pocket. Yeah, he's got a, um, a debit card, uh, looks like with a cash app type thing. So it, I don't know if you might get, get something from that or whatever. I mean, he's doing internatos in this, but. Uh, Bowmore, he's back then. Okay. 
The suspect was later arrested and charged with possession of a Schedule 1 and Schedule 11 controlled substance, theft by receiving stolen property, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession of a felony. He was also charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, possession of drug-related objects, possession of certain weapon parts, possession of methamphetamine, and possession of marijuana. But guns and drugs aren't the only things criminals lie about. Sometimes, people, like our next suspect, lie about themselves, too. On August 9th, 2022, Flagler County officers responded to a call regarding an aggressive salesman unwilling to take no for an answer. The officers proceeded to locate the salesman without any idea of what they were about to discover. Hey, no, okay, no problem, no problem. I'm sorry, we just got a call about, I guess, you. Yeah, yeah no problem. <laughs> I mean, just, yeah, I guess, um, when people go door to door in Palm Coast, dude, huh? you get calls all the time for it. Okay. Uh, if you're soliciting or whatever it may be. Um, do you have a permit for it? Um, my, if I need to call my manager, that's fine. Yeah, I don't keep my permit I'm just letting you know, we, we get it, it's quite often. In terms of it, we, we have yeah. our permit to work in the areas yeah. in terms of that aspect, and beyond that, I'm badged, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, I understand. Yeah, I, don't, you got all the I don't walk around, well, and I was even here yesterday. I just, uh, I figured I just, yeah, at least let you know, because in Palm Coast, you do have to have a permit to okay. solicit. As you can see, the officer here is not interested in arresting the salesman. It appears that the residents in Palm Coast don't take kindly to salesmen, and the officer, knowing this, probably thought this was another case of that. Little did he know, he was up to one of the biggest cases of his career. I just saw you again, I figured I'd keep talking to you. Oh yeah, yeah, in terms of, the, the, there's different ordinances we, we have, but whenever we go out to the area, we always have that scoped out in terms of my mm -hmm. actual managers, and I go do my work, you know what I mean? And yeah. they take care of that aspect in terms of it. In our company, we do, do, do our best to be in terms of those aspects in terms of the ordinances and those things. We don't go to areas where we're going to have those issues. Yeah. And we try to, if, if, as this neighborhood is in a no soliciting when you go into well, it's a, those I guess things as well. You know? No, 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 I get you, I get I'm you. Sorry, man. No, 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 <laughs> but you know, if it's a city, yeah. I get it. But what I was getting at is that we ha we usually scope those things out to make sure mm -hmm. we don't go through these type yeah. of things, you know, to make business easier for us. I and so you. at the end of the day, yeah, we're, we're trying to trying to do yeah. things in a, in a Just in a also basis. so I can notate it correctly, do you happen to have your ID on you? I, I don't have my you ID because I like, no, I don't Bring it on me because why okay. I've lost my IDs. As the officer listens to him, he realizes that not only does this unidentified man not have a work permit to carry out his salesman activity in Palm Coast, but he doesn't even have an ID. In fact, the officer has been suspicious about the salesman from their first meeting, so he looked him up on his computer and found something that would change everything. Um, I'm out of California, okay. and, and nonetheless, in terms of it, yeah, in terms of moving out here, you can take my number. Yeah, we you know, know those things. We live in Jackson. Yeah, did you have any dealings in California with any type of, you know, like law or anything like that? In terms of, uh, I, I, I have from time to time in different places, okay. but whenever the people come to me and they see what I'm doing and see how I'm presented, yeah, I no, usually dude, don't get bothered. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm asking yeah. you. No, the no, I get you. I'm, I'm not, I'm just I'm asking you, you, let me tell you why. Yes, okay, sir. Can I, I'm just going to be honest with yes, you. Yes, sir. Okay, you actually have a warrant out of Texas. Do you know, have you been to Texas? Have I been to Texas? Failure to appear? 15, 10, 15, no. Okay, well, that's what it's for. Okay, it's active, full extradition, everything like that, okay? You okay? As you've just heard, the salesman, who is later identified as Christopher Kiwanuka, has a warrant in Texas, which explains why he doesn't have or didn't want to give the officer his ID. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm a father, we, man. I, I understand. Children, so I, I want to do as peaceful as possible. Can we do that today? What are you talking about? What's that? What are you talking about? What do you mean? The first time the officer observed something was off about the salesman was when he noticed that he was always on the defense, answering questions he wasn't asked, and giving unnecessary accounts about his company. Like, just make everything peaceful as possible. I'm just trying. I want to show you and everything like that if we can get this figured out as far as a failure to appear, okay? Okay. Can you just tell me about it? I'm trying to ask you a question. No, I'm, I'm okay, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just throwing out the fact that I'm from California, that's where my ID's at, yeah. in terms of where I'm from, yeah. you know what I'm I mean? I'm just trying to get more information. And that's the part that I'm, um, when they say the failure to appear, I'm, I am confused on yeah. that well, as well. Let, let's, I mean? let's figure it out real quick. Very full, serious no, conversation. No, 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 I don't the, care if you're here. Anybody can be in the neighborhood. No, but in terms of what we're talking about yeah. now, you're saying there's a warning, we're looking for this and that, and I'm like, what's going on? And so, okay. I'm not just digging things up, I'm just saying it came, 
but it came and it kind of you kind of got did that somehow. I mean, well, if I ran your name, it comes up. You know what I mean? That's what happened. A lot of traffic. I didn't dig it. Okay, I didn't have enough. to go fishing for it or nothing. Okay. Can I? Can I please live my life, though, sir? Of course, and we can all live our lives. No, I mean, in terms of, but in terms of. I'm in Florida. I'm not in Texas. I'm not even from here. Yeah. None of those things. I haven't done anything wrong. I understand. I was working, you I know, and, and I will handle that if that's the case on my own. But I mean, I'm from California. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm working out here. That's what's going on. I got so. you, man. It's quite funny how Christopher has gone from looking shocked at the accusation to asking to live his life. But unfortunately for him, fugitives are not allowed to live their life. Christopher had failed to appear in court in Texas for charges of theft of a firearm and unlawful possession of a weapon. He also had passed Carolina and Arizona arrests for charges of domestic violence and burglary. In many ways, there was justice, and there's no kindness to it. You can't ignore a you cannot, it's court order. When you say you can't ignore a warrant, what does that even mean? Meaning, like, if I pull you over for speeding, I have a little discretion on whether or not I want to write you a ticket. Right. We don't have discretion when it comes to this. We can't ignore a warrant. We have to take it. You Does have to take it? Yes. You have a warrant, so we have to take you to our local jail. I don't even understand what's going on in terms of the fact that you guys are saying this. Look, Florida, you guys are saying something about Texas. This doesn't even make sense to me. It's full extradition, which means anywhere you are in this country, the judge ordered the warrant. Sometimes there's limitations on the warrant. The, this one has no limitations. I want to see my family. Okay. I don't Listen, we're not going to ask again, okay? Don't make this worse than it has to be, okay? Turn around. Wow. The handcuffs can come off as quickly as they came on. That's terrible. All right? doesn't have to be on. I'm not even, I haven't done any. If I was going to run, I would have ran. I'm not... I'm not Okay. I, didn't, I didn't consent to this. Christopher was later booked at the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility within the hour, where he was held on no bond as he awaited extradition to Texas. On February 16th, 2023, in Eustace, Florida, body cam footage captured the arrest of an individual identified as Henry Gamble Coleman. Officers responded to reports of a black man wearing a black jacket and orange pants engaging in suspicious behavior around an apartment complex. Upon the arrival of the officer, the situation escalated as Henry began displaying aggressive behavior and remained uncooperative throughout the investigation. Well, a 24-year-old girl living nearby shared her experience, telling the officer how Henry really scared her when he began following her around. And it wasn't just a casual concern, it genuinely freaked her out. Can you tell me what happened? Or what you saw? Well, I saw him first. Okay. Okay, sorry. It's all right, good. So it's okay. You're all right. Nothing even happened. I'm just nervous. Okay. Just <laughs> nothing, oh, nothing, like like okay? nothing like that's no, happened no, no, here I'm before. Just very nervous. So. Yeah, don't be nervous. She, she was by herself and it scared her. So. Oh, sure. That could be scary. Yeah. I was just taking the laundry down and he was fine. He was friendly. Mm -hmm. He opened the door and he didn't really expect to see me there. I don't know if he realized it was a laundry room or not. And I thought he lived here because he was super friendly. And he was like, oh, what's your name? And I told him, oh, I'm Alex. I wasn't telling him where I live, but mm -hmm. he's like, oh, I'm Henry, the name he gave. And he just was looking at me and he washed his hands. He's just like other hands. <laughs> okay, so I guess we just wash our hands in the laundry room now. Go ahead. And he was sitting on, he just sat down on the table. He didn't have to Adrian also from a cell phone. And I got out of there. there came also at 10 four. there was music playing in the background. I don't know if he followed me to the apartment or not, but he got there really quick. And then he said, out. oh, I can't believe I found you. Yeah, she walked out the door and was there. Okay, to your apartment? Yeah. Yeah, and he was talking to me normal. He asked me if I smoked. I was like, no, I don't smoke. And my mom, she got me back inside, thankfully. And mm -hmm. that was he bad. sat on our, by our front door. Just like 10 minutes. 10 minutes straight. And then that's when he walked over the trash and was banging on her door. And then he opened her gate and then he sat there. And then he was walking back and forth for like minutes upon minutes. Okay. Did you see him looking in any windows? Like like well, he was looking at her window. Just Trish's window from what I could see. Go ahead. Well, just starting a conversation with a cry surely depicts how much she got afraid, especially since it never happened in this society before. But whatever happened, happened, and it's time to arrest this stalker. What you doing, man? Go ahead. Huh? I got called about you. Why are you always trying to argue? I'm not. I don't know what to keep calling you for. 
You're not looking at people's movies or hey, people's uh, windows. What you want, bro? Bro. Huh? What you want, bro? bro. What, you, what are you doing? What do it look like I'm doing? Walking around. In an apartment complex? You live here? Okay, yeah. I told you that already. I told them that too. You told what? Oh, nothing. Yeah, them. They should have told you. They called you. So do you live here? Did I just say him? Huh? Huh? You know, you can hear What? What's up? Bro, speak to me. What's you up? Just, What's up? I'm I don't asking talk you. about nothing because I, I ain't did nothing wrong. I'm walking around. What, what did I do? I got people saying you're looking at people's windows. No, I'm not. And then you don't live here. Who said that? All right, then. I done asked you three times, so man, tell me. Like YG, man, you tell, I'm telling you, you got to stop, bro. I go 47. You ain't doing nothing wrong. Cut. What are they trying to do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I need to talk to you. What's your name? 13 uh, 48. What's your 10 20? Go that way. Stop following me. Check out the network. For real. 10 4. So I was walking. Walking away from me. I do that. So I got I got residents telling you that you're looking in the windows. So why are you here? So why are you here? I could be here. Do you live here? What's your, what's your address? As the officer tried to inquire about Henry's presence in the area, the situation took a turn for the worse. Henry became uncooperative, refusing to answer any questions despite multiple attempts to engage in a conversation. Well, visibly upset, he explicitly requested the officer to stop questioning him. It's a common response when someone in a difficult situation, like a potential stalker, gets caught. Denial becomes their last hope. But as this incident unfolds, it becomes clear that such tactics won't be effective here. Alright, you better stop, man. I don't have to. Hey, stop. Stop falling behind me. Like I said the first time. Go talk to them, see what they're trying to do. Leave me alone. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Go ahead. You ain't free to leave yet. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Well, you, not until you dispel my fear why you're here. Nothing. Why were you here? Go ahead. Bro, I'm not doing nothing wrong. You're just walking around. The dude that stopped walking up on me, like I said the first time. Listen. No, you don't. Yes, we do. No, you don't. So we just want your story. I'm going to tell you nothing. Ain't no story to tell. I'm walking around. I can walk around anywhere I want. Like, I ain't messing with nobody. It's broad daylight. Around you. Go talk to her. She manager. Go talk to her. Stop talking to me. You picking at people's windows? No, I'm not. Okay. Stop talking to me. I got invited over to oh, somebody's house. I went to their house. They not. They ain't answering the door. The dog's there, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that part. So go talk to them. Leave me alone. Go talk to her. Well, right what's their name? Leave me alone. I'm not telling nobody else's name. Whose house were you going to? Leave me alone, bro. Go talk to her. You just said you're right. You okay, said and bye, bro. You, you just said I can, I can go talk to them. Okay. Go talk to her and see what you want to do. Trust you, me, you whatever. You told me I can go talk Stop to her. Stop talking to me. Oh, well, don't talk she to me. She over either. there. I don't want you talking to me. Go talk to her. That's the manager. Go. Hey, chill out. Leave me alone. Okay, bye. Go talk to her then. I can chill the f*** out. Face. You ain't leaving. You're staying right man, here. Man, shut up and go talk to her. Leave me the f*** alone. Okay, but you're not, pissing me you're not free no, to leave. No, you're not free to leave. No, you're not nothing. You're not free to leave right now. I don't give a damn what you said. Go talk to her. Get out my face. Okay, you try to walk away. Bro, go talk to her. Leave me the You're going into handcuffs. You try to walk away. I just said. Okay. No. Why are you getting so angry? Cause y'all right. Yeah. You're the one over here looking at people. Bro, no, the not. Then what was? The what were you doing? Go to talk to her. Leave me alone. Well, things were already not going smoothly, but the situation took an instant turn when the lady came forward and provided details about Henry hiding a gun. Now, just imagine the fears of the residents in this otherwise peaceful community. Like, out of nowhere, you got this stalker in your midst. And to make matters worse, he's got a gun. Can you talk to me right here? Look, before you guys got here, I've been following him. He put a gun over here behind our AC unit. Okay. We saw him put it there. It's a gun there. Okay. Okay. 13 to 48, we're gonna be. Put him in handcuffs. Turn around, put your no, hands on your back. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not doing none of that. Don't touch me. Don't put your hands on your back. Don't touch me. What I do? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. What is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? Why are you doing this? Put your hands behind your back. I ain't gotta do none of that. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands on me. 
tools on my head, bro. I'm not reducing or nothing. What are you doing? Get your hands off me. I ain't doing shit right. I got, I got, I got. You're going to get tased. You're going to get tased. Put your hands behind your back. Behind your back. Oh, my. Bro, what the f me for? Stop resisting, you're gonna I'm not get resisting again. At all. Stop tensing up. You need to tell me what the f I'm getting arrested for. Or what I'm. You feel right, me? I ain't doing the f wrong. Bro, what the f y'all was. Bro. What y'all tasting for, bro? But get off me, please. Ah, what the f is you doing? It did not take all that. What am I being arrested for? What <laughs> What I'm being arrested for, for real? Hey, just sit wrong. What the f you doing? Pick me up off the f ground, dog. You, oh, you been sure disrespectful you have no for nothing, on. bro. Y'all been disrespectful for nothing. I ain't doing a f thing wrong. On your side. You can walk around. On your side. Stand up. Hey, my leg hurt. You got my lighter. Please? You got my s. Y'all did all that stuff for nothing, bro. I ain't doing wrong with nobody. When I went in the car, fuck you, ain't tell me. You ain't even my fucking right. Nothing. So what the fuck you? This is my lawful arrest. What the fuck are you pulling, right? Now, right? Now, now you're doing? Doing? Your feet. I'm resisting. Talking about. You're going, to, you're going to jail for, for resisting. What? I never resisted. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Okay. I never resisted nothing. Y'all tackle me. What the fuck you talking about? I'm not arguing nothing. You never had me my rent rights. So I'm going to jail for it. I don't want to tell them for it only. Did I ask you any questions after we got your handcuffs? But I'm saying, you know, I read them in the first place. You just came and attacked me. These people seen it. Because I already know how it went last time. I, I ain't did nothing wrong. What are you talking about? Have a seat. But what, what y'all put me close for? I ain't you're, did nothing right wrong. Right now you're loitering and prowling. I'm loitering and prowling. I got it's invited. Okay. Listen, I got invited over to 7 Too late now, man. You could have told us that later. But y'all wide open. Y'all didn't even talk to her. We're I didn't know her. Like, I got to go close the door. I did talk to her. She can told I me something talk, else. I'm about to go pick talk. No, please. I'm going to talk. No. I have to get your feet. No. <laughs> y'all just shut the door and walk away, bro. Let me talk right now. Y'all don't listen to me. Y'all don't listen to me. I don't want to talk to you right now. Put your feet in the car. But still, you got to go ask them people. She invited me over there. I'm going to go talk to them. Not them. I'm going to go talk to them. And then I'm going to go talk to you. For what? Now you're going to put your feet in. You put your feet in now? I'm not even hostile. I'm just sitting here. Get in the car. Y'all tell me for nothing. Put your feet in the car. But y'all been a nothing, bro. They did shit wrong. thing. No more problem. Well, Henry finally got arrested, but the level of resistance he showed and then not agreeing that he resisted, that's a whole new level of audacity. Oh, okay. What is that? Is that a real gun? Just a... Uh, uh, yeah, air, air pistol. Okay, you have your ID on you? It's just like I used to the call? That's in my, my car. You tired? Huh? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Um, you know what uh, resident this is? Residence? Um, I gotta look at the door number. Okay. I'm not the manager here. <laughs> I'm gonna need your information too. Do you okay. have an ID on you? I do. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You want me to go get now and come back, or you want to come to the office, or how do you want to? Uh, go? can you head over there for us? Yeah. Like whenever you get your information. Oh, go get it and bring. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. You can drive up there or whatever you need. So based on the evidence and what the witnesses spilled, it looks like Henry's landed himself in a bit of hot water. There exists probable cause to suspect that Henry committed burglary to an occupied dwelling, resisted arrest without violence, and engaged in loitering and prowling. Subsequently, Henry was transported to the Lake County Jail. Notably, a criminal history check conducted by Eustace Dispatch revealed a prior charge for burglary against Henry. Yep, you heard that right. It was not his first time. Hey, bud. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? What's up? Hey, so, uh, I got a call from the manager over here. He said you're just causing some problems in front of the, uh, in front of the store. I'm causing some problems in front of the store. Yeah, he said you think you've been drinking alcohol as well, some penny or something like that. Walking back and forth, bro. I'm talking. Yeah, I know. I believe you. Yeah, yeah, hey, like as right now, I don't see you causing hey, no problems or hey, nothing. Hey, 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 hey. What is this talking about? I'm causing problems yeah. in the neighborhood. Hey, I just got a call about it. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out, you know, like. 
no, the guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This young teenager has just been accused of drinking too much and causing trouble by some store manager. Now, getting drunk is obviously not a problem. Countless people get drunk every day and don't get arrested for it. The job of the officers here is therefore to ensure the young man doesn't get into any more trouble than he already is. Yeah, hey, hey, so the guy told me you're just causing problems over here, said you've been drinking. It sounds like you're slurring a little to me, so I would think you've been drinking too, but as of right now, I don't see you causing any problems. Well, so what, what's going on? back and forth, talking on the phone. I know, I believe you, I believe you, man. You got no, yeah, I'm not, no, don't try to get defensive, none. but have you been drinking? Hey, dude, I smell, <laughs> hey, man, hey, man, I smell liquor on your breath. There's no liquor. Dude, come on. I'm walking back and forth. I know I believe you, but I smell the booze on your breath. I'm, I'm this is my first rodeo, man. Listen, there's, hey, hey, there's hey, hey, nothing going not, on over here. You're not breaking the law right oh, now. I'm just trying to, hey, I'm a leave, hey, real I'm quick. A leave, I'm a leave, I'm a leave. Hey, let me, let me, come on, come here. Let's just, just talk, all right? The teenager denies having anything to drink, even though the officer can smell the strong scent of liquor coming from his breath, as well as the bottle of alcohol he was consuming. So I'm smelling the booze on your breath, dude. How, you're not 21, I can tell. What's this? That's not mine. No? So the guy said you were drinking Remy. It wasn't any, it was Remy. So that's not yours. That's not mine. Okay. But, do you get, you get how I don't believe you? Because it smells like you've been drinking. We found some Remy, which the guy said you were drinking. And now... I don't know where that came from. Okay. Hey, hey you got an idea on your kid? I, I do not know where that came from. Okay. Hey, do you, you got an idea on you? Nah, I nah, you got know another. Where oh, what's your name? My name is Shane. Shane? Shane. Shane? Shane. Man. Okay, what's your last name, Shane? Colder Davis. Shane Colder Davis, that your friend just told you to tell me. It's clear that the teenager's messing with the officers at this point, but how long can he keep this up for? Let me walk off. Where you, how, how are you getting home? I, I, I just want to make sure. Dude, I'm walking off. are you 21? I can't, hey, if you're not 21, I can't let you walk off. Cause now you're drunk. Now I've met, bro, I've dealt with you. I don't know what that is, I can't is, let you bro. go. I don't know what that hey, is. Hey, hey, I can't let you go because if you're under 21, it's my responsibility to make sure you get home to a to a listen, responsible listen, adult. Listen, listen, listen. I'm listening, but you're not L giving me no, any no, information. No, 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 no. All right, listen, all right, go listen, ahead. Go ahead. Listen, go ahead. Listen, go ahead. Listen, listen. Go ahead. That is not mine. Okay. That is not mine. But you are drunk. How would I be drunk if that's not mine? You could drink something else. The minimum legal age for drinking alcoholic beverages in America is 21, and it's usually a misdemeanor criminal offense for anyone underage to purchase, consume, or even possess alcohol. The teenager is most likely aware of this, and that's why he probably doesn't want to take any chances. Hey, hey, you're not free to leave right now. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, you're not free to leave. You gotta well, let identify me call yourself. A, let me call a real... You gotta uh, identify yourself. Okay? Let me call a real N... And what's your name? What's, let me call it real. Uh, which, hey, bro, what's the number, bro? What's your name? Well, bro, why are you so close? What why you so, so we can why you are you okay? so close? What's your name? Why are you so close? What's your name? Why are you so hey, close? Hey, Shane, what's Shane, name? if that's your real Move name, on. let's what's just get name? an idea and I'll let you why out. Why are here. you so close? What is your name? Why are you so close? You better back off. Fuck off me. Right? Hey, hey, back up, back up, back up, Shane. Bro, name? get your, get hey, your employee hey, off hey, me, guys, stupid, hey, for I spit in your face. Go. Hey, hey. For I spit in your face, hey, stupid. Hey, you don't do that. You don't want to do that, buddy. Hey. Dude. Nah, because he's a f dude. Dude, 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 dude. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, now you hit me. Now you hit me. All, All right. right. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Alright, this is enough of that. This is the best case scenario of good cop, bad cop. On one hand is an officer who's ready to cuff the young man and put him in the back of the patrol car. On the other side is another cop who doesn't want a young kid waking up sober only to find himself in jail. Dude, you just hit me. You just hit me. To get off of me! Oh, okay, alright, hey, stand right there. Hey, you're not free to leave. You're not free to leave. Free to leave for You're what? not free to leave. I, hey, 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 hey. You see, bro? Hey, hey. Hey, you gotta hang bro, up your what phone. What you talking about? Hang up your phone. Put your hands behind your back. Put Are your you hands behind your back. Wow. Put your hands behind your back. Wow. Why? My mom's calling me and you talking about. I believe it. You didn't answer. You didn't give me any information to go by. What do I gotta give you information for? Because. Because. I gotta give you information hey, for. Hey, 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 stop. 
Stop. Who I'm are not, you? I'm not yelling Who at you. Who are you? I'm not yelling. Having too much alcohol in your system often causes people to behave in ways that are dangerous, erratic, and damaging to both themselves and those around them. The officer understands this, and that's the only reason the teenager's not on his way to jail already. Gotta relax. Dude, you gotta you arrested me for! We're not, arrest you're not, you're not, not arresting right you. Okay? Dude, you're. You swung at me when I tried to calm you down. I swung at you. You pushed my arm out of the way while I tried to calm you down. I swung at you when you did. You, you wow. pushed my arm out of the way. All right. Wow. You got a wallet on you. I Dude, swung you at you and your wife. Take you home, but you and gotta tell us your name. To do, you put me in handcuffs for nothing, right? Listen, listen, listen. Do you need to take me home for? Because clearly you're intoxicated. Smell like alcohol. Tell me you're acting erratic. Tell us more your words. Does that have to do with you? Does that have to do with you? Everything. Okay? I need to know how old you are. Does that have to do with you? I need to know how old you are. Does that have to do with you? Relax. 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 The officers gave the young man every opportunity to calm down. They even offered him a ride home, provided he gave them his ID, but he refused. So it's no surprise that the officers eventually decided to arrest him and take him to jail. Wow. Hey, 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 stop, stop. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, spit that loogie on your face. In case you missed that, the young man, who was later identified as Don Rise, just spat on the officer. In doing so, Don Rise has just added an assault charge to his list of problems. Dude, you're making this harder. You really Bro, I don't got nothing on me! Jesus Christ! Relax! Relax! Relax, dude! Relax! Hey, hey, man. Relax! Hey. Relax! Relax! <clears throat> Yeah. You are not gonna bang your head against the window, okay? I want you to know. All right? Hey, no, 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 no. I want you to know. I want you to know. You don't have no power. Stop it! Let me lick him. Let me lick him. You think God gonna get you? Get it's it. all right. God is not even up there. He's yeah. right here. Don Rise is later arrested and taken to the station, where he continues to assault the officers. Legs out. Hey man, you just a f know your mother, yeah, your wife. Dude. You think y'all strong? Y'all think y'all strong? Hey, 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 dude, easy, dude, easy, easy. easy. Stop easy. spitting. Easy. Easy. Hey, can we get a spit mask? I got hey. I'll kill you. Oh, Set him down. Really? I got my arm. I got my arm. I got his arm. Relax. That's not what you want to do. That's not what you want to do. I'll shoot. Got you. I got his arm. I know. Hold on. We got jewelry. After his arrest, Don Rise was charged with felony aggravated battery, misdemeanor, resisting, and obstructing an officer. The next incident involves an entitled female cop who was suspected of driving under the influence and who was recorded on video shoving and making verbal threats to a guy after a car crash. Well, okay, anything on you, guns or anything? No, not at all. Where's your actual ID? Yeah, because that one you don't need anymore. You can get rid of that. I need the other ID. Sorry. You're good. That one. Thank you. I'm going to take that back. Okay, go ahead and have a seat for me really fast. Just take a seat. Are you... You're, if you guys are good to go, if you want to, whatever you want to do. No, he's Hey, I'm not, I'm talking to them. Sorry. If you're law enforcement, you know better than to be I talking to us like this. Then you know better than to be talking to us like this. After speaking with Sarah, the cops next proceeded to speak with the individual whom Sarah had threatened. And at this point, the man finished his explanation of everything that happened and even presented a tape of Sarah's behavior toward him. Hey, excuse me, cop, please. Don't come at me. Please right get now. out of my car right, come now. At me right now. I need you to go back over there. You need to get back over there. There's no reason you're inching up like that. I'm a cop. You're good. The cops saw on the tape at one point that Sarah did, in fact, hit the guy, and the man confirmed that this did, in fact, occur. Did she, right there, did she touch you? Yeah, I mean, she was pushing, pushing me, and that's why I just, I was like, Okay, oh, so she did, touch, she did touch you and push you? Yes. Okay. Also, a second cop arrived to investigate the man who had been assaulted in the incident. And um, she walks over and she's like, you know, don't know, you know, mm -hmm. you don't want to start anything, da, 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 just 
keeps on going. Did she threaten you by saying she was a cop? Did you feel threatened? I mean, I mean, like, <clears throat> no, I cop. I believed her because I saw a little, you know, the blue flag. I mean, okay. and it, it, you know, she was. I mean, it, it, it give, is. Give me one second. Hey, okay. Following this, the cop inquired of the man whether he wanted to file charges, to which the man responded affirmatively. And at this point in time, things had already begun to take an intriguing turn. What happened with the crash? So I was coming in here and he hit me as I was coming in. What's your damage? Uh, I don't think there's even any damage to it. Okay. Which is why I don't... Right here? Not sure why he called you. Okay, watch out. Can you get on the side on the yes. road? I think he hit me okay. right here. So we can go back to the sidewalk. I just wanted yep. to see You're saying, so where were you driving from? Like, we're not driving from. Like, where were you on? From, from that way. On 408 or off the 408? Off 408. Off 408? Yep. Okay. All right. But there was, he's just being an <laughs> Oh, okay. I gotcha. And I'm fine with, like, he literally just hit me right here. Okay. All right. In addition, the cop informed her that she would be issued a ticket and informed of her rights. Despite this, the cop even questioned her about her level of drunkenness, and as a result, everything started to fall apart for her, and the truth started to come out. How much have you had to drink tonight? Uh, what do you think? I I'm asking you. Two glasses of wine. Two glasses of wine? Yeah. Okay. Anything else besides that? No. Okay. What kind of wine was it? Cab. Cab? Okay. Yeah. Where did you have those wines at? I asked the question, you're just looking at me, so I'm... I'm just wondering why you're asking me. Like I told you, I explained, I'm conducting a criminal DUI investigation right now. Sure. Okay, so that's why I'm asking these questions. In Winter Park. You don't want to tell me the name of the restaurant or bar you were at? It doesn't matter. I mean, I, it matters. I mean, does it not, were you not coming from there? Are you conducting a criminal investigation towards me? Yes. Right now? Yes. Okay. So am I having any point of, I mean, I'm... Is there a question in there? After that, Sarah admitted to the cop that she had been drinking. Thus, the cop asked her to do some field sobriety tests, but she refused to do so. As a result, the cop decided to arrest her. So I'm going to ask you again, are you willing to do field sobriety exercises? No. No? Okay. You guys on your back. This point in time, you're being placed under arrest for DUI and battery. Battery. <laughs> In addition to that, a body camera video that was taken from the police vehicle revealed her true character. Do you know how the Orange County Jail works? Sir, you didn't do it like this, you're going to get safe book, and you know how that goes. Okay? Sir, We're trying I to didn't do work. anything to okay. be well, safe booked. You're under arrest. The way you're acting is going to be... For what? Okay. For what? For DUI and uh, battery. For what? Okay. Be battery on what? On the person you hit. Who? Okay. I didn't hit anyone. I didn't hit anyone. You guys are going to... Catch it! Hit someone? Battery? For what? Let me f come at you. Come or battery for what? You're gonna take me down to to Orange County for what? Battery on what? Yeah, we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll do it all the same case. Battery? Yeah. Why? Cause you have a fight. Cause you have a FTO. Yeah, there's a camera right there. Right there. That that's fine. Okay, I'm just letting you know. You're gonna. You're going to bug me for battery? I didn't touch anyone at all. And I never hit anyone's car at all. To wrap it up, Sarah Mooney is being investigated for several offenses, some of which are misdemeanors of the first degree, such as driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, violence, false imprisonment, and burglary of an inhabited vehicle. According to the Apopka Police Department, after her arrest, the cop was immediately removed from law enforcement responsibilities and placed on administrative leave without pay, awaiting for the outcome of the criminal investigation. Now, while Sarah was merely pissed off, this next individual will make you question whether or not she's naturally a nasty person.
It all begins with the conflict that takes place between the female cop and the pregnant suspect, which will ultimately result in the suspect being hurt. You feel it when there's something there? Spread your legs. Spread your legs. They are open. Like I heard I was running from these people, dude. Spread your legs. I'm not gonna no. ask you again. I no, man. Don't do dude, it. You're hurting my Don't be grabbing my stuff either. I'm not grabbing on you, dude. Let me the oh, man. All you have to do is cooperate. You're hurting my baby, me. Hey, just... If you yeah, were worried about you, you wouldn't be out stealing. You, you don't know or what take to do. Hey, either. Oh, you're you're hurting my ass. Good. Are you gonna stop? No. You're gonna ah. stop. Are you gonna stop? Ah, no, no, no. Then relax and do what I tell you to do. Do what the you're doing this for. My arms are hurting, dude. Well, then stand up and spread no, your legs. I did spread them, no, dude. No, you did it. At this moment, the pregnant suspect is crying out in agony, and the female cop is justifying her position by explaining to the other deputies that the suspect horse kicked her while she was searching her. Spread your that legs. Hurts, dude. Why do you okay, just put spread your legs. Your foot right here, and I won't do it. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Do not kick me. Don't grab him. Let it go. Do not ah, kick me. If you ah, kick me again, I swear to God, ah, I'll break your arm. Oh my God. Oh, yes, God. she ah, always kicked ah, me, and she wasn't following me by ah, instructions. Ah, ah, oh if you were pregnant, then you would behave. Oh, grab, her oh, grab her arms so I can finish searching. That's all I needed to do, and you were acting like an idiot. I gave my None of that would have happened if you wouldn't have kicked me. All you needed to do is spread your legs. It's not my fault I found drugs on you. At this point, the cop positions the pregnant suspect into the police vehicle. However, the suspect is yelling and making the cop angry at the same time. What? Get in. I, my, my arms hurt, my shoulders hurt. Get in. Oh, drugs. I don't take drugs. Yes, you do. That's why you had a Xanax in your bra. God damn, Julie, I gotta be so God damn. It's not gonna have anything to do with me, sweetheart. You tried me on the floor! Watch out! It was at this precise moment that the cop kicked the pregnant suspect once in the right breast and seven times on the head. After that, the cop yanked her by her hair in order to remove her from the police vehicle and then left her on the ground for 26 minutes while it was raining. The sheriff has now shown up to look into the incident and find out from the female cop what really transpired. So I was searching her, and when I searched her, she had drugs in her bra. I'm like, hey, stand still. She's like, can you pull my shirt down? And she started pulling at her shirt, so I thought maybe she had some in there because I pulled her bra out. I was like, stop messing with your shirt. And she's like, oh. she's like, can't you pull it down? I was like, when I'm done, I will fix you. Stand still. Stop moving around. So she keeps... And I said, stop moving. And then I told her, turn around and spread your legs. So when she spread them, she only spread them like this, which isn't far enough for me to check. I was like, spread your legs. She's like, my hip hurts. I was like, spread your legs. So she's not following my instructions. So I'm assuming she's got something on her and she like tries to spin on me. I'm like, that's enough. So I grab her arm and I push her up against the car. She won't stop. So I'm holding on to her. I'm like, spread your legs. And she kept on and she kept on. The horse kicked me Where? right in my knee. I have a footprint from her dirty feet. Look. Additionally, the female cop made fun of the pregnant suspect, which is very inappropriate behavior. She's fine. She's faking it. Look, her eyes are open. As soon as I said that, she opened her eyes. 
To conclude, Officer Elizabeth Montoya was terminated from her position with the San Antonio Police Department and given a notice of indefinite suspension for her harsh treatment of a suspect before she was dismissed. Additionally, Montoya was reprimanded for muting her body-worn camera when she should not have done so on purpose. On the other hand, she refutes each and every accusation that has been made against her. Additionally, according to the records of the court, she was charged with assaulting a public worker and resisting arrest. However, the charges were eventually dropped. On September 3, 2022, Mark Greenberg, a 55-year-old man, was apprehended by Volusia County Sheriff's Office deputies for allegedly stalking a six-year-old girl. Yeah, you heard that right. A six-year-old girl. His daughter from six years old was crossing the street, and Mark Greenberg came out and was like, I'm going to turn you into a woman, I'm going to take you to Disney World, I'm going to make you famous. He's saying yesterday he was telling the kids to be quiet and come to him. I can barely hear you. Can you speak up? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Something about I'll talk to the officer he previously spoke to tomorrow. I hear you talking, but I can't understand you. Can you speak up? Well, around 12 witnesses described at least 11 instances where Greenberg harassed neighbors. He used a megaphone to shout at them and recorded children on his phone while driving by their homes. Witnesses also reported inappropriate comments, with Greenberg expressing a desire to take the young girl to Disney World. <laughs> you got anything okay. on you? Okay. I need to... I make sure my door is secured, uh, locked. We will secure it. I need to make sure. I will make sure. Who are you? The, are you the sergeant? I am the sergeant. Go get your car. Just go get your no, car. No, I want my Skechers, please. No, that's that's good. Good. I want my Skechers. I want my shoes, please. No, man. Shoes, please. Listen, we played this game with you yesterday. Okay. You don't call There's the two sides to every story. There is. You haven't heard the you other side. Of the story. You will have your day in court, yes. but you had your opportunity to tell your side of the story yesterday, and you didn't. I okay? stood right here, and you told uh -huh. us no. So. You made a piss poor decision, now you're gonna live with it. We're trying to help you out, man. We're getting you shoes. Okay. These are not shoes, these are flip flops. It doesn't matter, they're gonna put can, slides on you when you get out there. Can I please have my sketchers? No. I have bad feet. I have to have shoes on. That's why I stay at home all day on my internet. I have to have my shoes, sir. Sir, yes, you're depriving me of my. Yeah. Of my you no, give no. me, sir, please. No. Listen, it's those or nothing. Put them on or they're going back in the house. You can go done. barefoot. That's fine. So you're holding something against me of what happened yesterday? No, you're under arrest. You can put those on, or you can walk out to the car with nothing on your feet. We're not waiters, we're deputies. I didn't say you were waiters, sir. <laughs> we'll have your house secured, then you can go to jail. What is the bond about? Five thousand dollars. Aggravated stalking. We're what? not going to We're not going to discuss it. That's your charge. Period. You want to discuss it? That guy's called a judge. We're not judges. <laughs> you could have came to the door last night and give us some information you failed to do it so we had to make our decisions based upon what we had period we're not arguing well i'm not going to argue it there's two sides to every story mm -hmm. and what you've heard is there one side yeah, so you can argue your side in court not out here what do you think about this civil war going on get in the car oh, okay In the end, Mark was arrested and charged with aggravated stalking of a six-year-old girl. Following his apprehension, Greenberg was transported to the Volusia County Branch Jail, where he currently remains in custody on a $5,000 bail. The charges reflect the severity of the allegations, underlining the gravity of the situation. So what's going on today? Yes, sir. I will come out and talk to you. Okay, what's going on today? Who called you? A neighbor. It's what all, crime did I commit? Just saying that you're yelling provocative language to people at the I'm park. Yelling provocative language. That's what is I. Is that a crime? That's what I was told. Well, it depends. If it's causing <laughs> alarm to people, it is. On April 15th, 2023, Ohio police officers responded to a disturbance complaint involving a local resident, Jeffrey Holmes, who was reportedly yelling provocative slurs to individuals in a nearby park. You're a liar. If you're causing you're alarm, lying. It's you're a, lying. And if you're yelling threats, it could be a crime. I'm not yelling threats. Well, I never said that. I just said if yeah, you were, you did. if you were yelling threats, it could be a yeah, crime. Yeah, you did. You just said it. No, I said if you were. If I were. Yep. 
I don't know what you were yelling. That's why I'm here I'm to talk to you. I'm on private property. I have freedom of speech. Yes, it's you do. the First Amendment. You do have freedom of speech, but is the moment that you start causing alarm to people? Alarm? What yes. is alarm? What oh, is wait, alarm? Wait, wait, wait. Is that a crime? It yeah. is if you're causing alarm to no, people. No, it is not it's a It's called crime. disorderly conduct. This officer is right. Having freedom of speech does not give Jeffrey or anyone else the right to make racial slurs or use provocative language. When you're causing alarm or annoyance to, or an inconvenience to multiple people, that is a crime. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it is. It's called disorderly conduct. You're a liar. You can't be drunk You're causing a liar. somebody. I'm on private property, man. But you still can't be causing annoyance and alarm to somebody. That's b man. When you're intoxicated, I can do you whatever I want on my property. That's not exactly true. You're a liar. From Montgomery okay. Road, okay. Road, well, I'm glad you think that. But I think that because it's the truth. So what exactly are you? You want to speak to my lawyer? What exactly are you doing back there? You want to speak to my lawyer? I just want to, I'm asking you a simple question. I'm getting drunk. I love okay. to be drunk. That And that's not a crime. There you go. But, but are you? But are you, but, are, but are you yelling at people in the park? You got your camera on? I do. It's not Thank only, you. It's As you can see, Jeffrey has clearly had a lot to drink, and while it's not a crime to get drunk, causing a scene like this could get him arrested for disorderly conduct. I'm asking a simple question and you're not giving me any answers. <laughs> Are you yelling at people at the park? I'm yelling at anybody I want to yell at. Why? Because it's my property. I can do whatever I want. What are you yelling? I might be yelling anti-Semitic. I might be yelling racial slurs, whatever. Well, you can't do that. You're a liar. You can't be yelling racial slurs. The freedom of slurs. speech gives me the right to do whatever I want. To a certain by, extent, it does. By your liar, you got your camera on. How much have you You're been drinking? You're sitting there telling me I don't have no right. Would you got an ID on you? <laughs> I'm allowed to ID you because you came up to make contact no, with me. No, I did not come up to you and you make did. contact. You told me to stay off your property Bye. and then you came to me. As the officer tries to get Jeffrey to provide his ID, the suspect retreats to his backyard where he continues to yell at people. You can go hook him up. You don't know going to Yeah. The officers then proceed to locate the witness to take her statement. How long have you guys been listening to that? I didn't hear anything. Okay. okay. My neighbors did. Okay. We have two little ones that yeah, the sure. upstairs with their sound machines on. Okay. Um, but hold on, actually. My neighbor texted us at. Well, and I guess that's a loaded question because how long, as in, like, since we've lived here? <laughs> um, how long, maybe since last night? Because I heard it was an all uh, I, I didn't hear it, anything okay. last night. Okay. Um, I had heard it started last night and it just kind of kept on progressing. I would say today. the last like hour the our last neighbors hour. heard it. Okay. It's pretty constant. Yeah. I mean, he like is always. Always. Yelling yeah. at people in the park as you can see straight through there. Yeah, that's kind of why we got called down here today because he was yelling some. Um, it's like they've got three kids, they've got two, we've all got like there's just kids everywhere. And yeah, and he was yelling some pretty, you know. Oh, yeah, well, they were, it wasn't so much profane as it just was. Usually just... it's super racist. Yeah, very. Apparently, this is not the first time Jeffrey would be causing a scene by yelling racial slurs at people in the park. But after keeping up with it for several weeks, his neighbors were finally tired of it. He has, like, I don't think it's a real gun. He has a pellet gun. He has a pellet gun, yeah. Um, apparently he had some problems with his neighbors in the backyard, and he had kind of wandered over to their property and set off their cameras and stuff. And... Yeah, they've, um, got, they've got a bunch of kids. Yeah, Just I think they have houses. three, maybe. Yeah. yeah, they do. Yeah, so apparently that was an issue as well. But yeah, um, the couple of people that we have talked to today, so usually his his tirades tend to be of the racist, yeah. ethnic, yeah. religious variety. Yeah, I mean, variety. he like the only like the only things he said to us is like he doesn't like the like new construction. Sure, stuff. sure. So yeah. he like. We'll say, like, take your money and get out of here. He does burnouts up and down the street in his little truck. Like, he'll, truck. Nice. Yeah, like, <laughs> he'll just, he'll, like, pull up near our house. Or, like, if he, like, he knows our cars. So if he's, like, pulling in around the same time as us, he, like, comes up real far mm. and, like, tries to scare yes. us. The witnesses also tell the cops that another neighbor had complained of Jeffrey frequently stepping on his property and causing a nuisance to both him and his family. And then from 10 p.m. until this morning, he kept walking down his property, which he alerts him on the camera. 
Oh, he does, does have a camera. camera. Yeah, I don't know if it's like records oh, okay. or if it's saving, but he said that was alerting him that someone was on his property. He went out, he told him, you know, get out of here. Then this morning with the soccer game, came back, he's on his property again. So he wants to trespass on there too if we want to do that. So um, we were talking about probably DCN talks, tell him he's not allowed on his neighbor's property. If he goes on his neighbor's property again, he'll, he'll be trespassed. After several discussions, the officers decide to arrest Jeffrey for disorderly conduct. All right, come here. Come here, Jeffrey. Turn around. What are you going to do? We're going to take you to jail today. No, well, for Stop. what? Stop. For You're a trespassing. For disorderly You're conduct. Trespassing. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. Stop now. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. Stop. Jeff, You're trespassing. You're under arrest, okay? What am I going to jail for? Jeff, you gotta, Jeff, you gotta sleep this Jeff, up, Jeff. look at me. Hey, you're, hey, you're, hey, you're being, you didn't tell me you're, what I'm you're being, being detained I'm for. I'm trying to tell you right now. You're what being, am I being detained for? Stop, to tell settle you right down. Now. You're being arrested and taken down the I'm Hamilton being County arrested Center illegally. For disorderly conduct while intoxicated. Right, How about private go. property? Now, unfortunately for Jeffrey, being on private property does not stop the police from arresting him. Get off of me! Get off of me! Stop Illegally. Illegally. Illegally, you're detaining me. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. You're cursing. You're lying. Piece of. You're lying. You're liar. You're liar. You're liar. You're, liar. you're detaining me illegally. You German kraut licker. Piece of. Jeffrey Holmes was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct while under the influence. Valerie O'Brien was off duty. During that time, the cops noticed that her driving habits were odd. Also, the cops discovered significant evidence to conduct a DWI investigation when they stopped her. Alright, you going right to the front of my Yeah, phone. just stand on nope. the side of the street. Yeah, we're going to go right here, okay? Right, right, right. Alright, go ahead and stand up here for me, okay? Yep. That's my partner. Okay, he's Who's just he? he's one of the deputies for Ingham County. Oh, what's his name? So he can introduce himself when he wants, okay? Oh come on. Alright, I'm come on. I usually work Eaton County, so I'm not familiar with everyone. What's your name? <laughs> Trooper Golden. Alright, so I'm Billy O'Brien. I've been suspended from MSU, have had a lot of bad shit happen to me. Okay. I was the assistant chief. Okay, do you mind if I pat you down just to make sure no, you know go ahead. Ahead. No, we'll go ahead. right to front go of my ahead. control. What's in here, like pens or something? Uh, lip liner. That's what it feels like, okay. Lip liner. <laughs> At this time, the cop was aware that the suspect was under the influence of alcohol, and as a result, he made the decision to proceed with the investigation via field sobriety tests. Would, would you consider yeah, those heels? These are only, yeah, I would consider these heels. These are the only socks I have on. Okay, ma'am, I'm going to back my car up just a little bit, okay? okay? All right, yeah. Right. Appreciate it. All right, ma'am, if you can come back up here for me, okay? Freezing. No, I understand. Sorry. I'm. It is cold out. Sorry. All right. Sorry. All right. So stand facing here, here. this way, just like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Woo! So this test is going to be the walk and turn. All right. Yes. Now the cop gave the suspect instructions to complete the first test. Unfortunately, the suspect didn't do well on the test. I'm freezing. Okay, just go ahead and try to do the test. And I'm trembling. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then nine heel the toe steps back. Again. Yep, just like I instructed, yeah. nine down and nine back. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay. All right, this next test is going to be the one leg stand, all right? As a result of her failure to complete the tests and her increasingly hostile behavior, the police made the decision to place her in handcuffs. Just, you'll for, go until no, I tell you to stop. How long? It's going to be approximately 30 seconds, okay? 
No, that's what I'm asking you. For how long? I just said. 30 seconds. Approximately. So I have to wait. Arms at your side, lift the leg of your choosing approximately six, six inches off the ground. Point your toe towards me. Even, look even, down at your foot. I wouldn't even do just that. Just give it a try, okay? I wouldn't even do that. All right, go ahead and over. start. Okay. I wouldn't even do that if I was stuck. All right, ready? All right, yep. Yeah, I couldn't even do that if I was sober. Ready? Keep your arms at your side. I couldn't even do that if I was sober. Okay. In all honesty, I couldn't all right. do that if I was sober. So you're not okay to drive? Uh, do you consent to taking a breathalyzer, PBT? No. Okay, go ahead and turn around and place your hands behind your back. Oh, you're arresting me. You're under arrest for operating while intoxicated. So, can I at least give my phone because I don't have a phone in my phone yeah, we'll uh, we'll grab your phone and everything, okay? Try to put your palms together like you're praying. Yeah. Not like like you're praying. There you go. Because yeah. I'm a child, I got it. And I'm Thank you. Wait, what did I do wrong? What did you do wrong? I just told you. No, Operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated. And you've never done that? Nope, I've never done that. Ever in your life? Never. Well, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. I'm glad you can be so self-righteous. I'm glad you can be so self-righteous. I never said I was perfect, okay? I'm no, no better you than are. you. No, you are. No, obviously you are. Nope, I am no better than you. Yeah, you, you are. You just made a mistake tonight. No, no, I didn't Did make I? a mistake. You are more self-righteous than I No, am. I'm not. We are the same. I want, also We're want. human beings, okay? No, no, we're not human beings. I want this. Center from 1136. So I'll have one female in custody for OWI. Right. Because I don't know. Staff one under 2305. What's up? You just got me fired from my job, and I just. I want... didn't. I didn't tell you to go drink a bunch of wine and drive your car. Did I tell you to do that? That's not what I'm saying. You I... told me I got you fired from your job. You're the you one did. who decided to do this tonight. And all I want is my phone, so I call my husband, so he can yep. come get me. We'll, we'll grab your. We'll grab because your phone. I don't know his phone number. Okay, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll grab your phone, okay? And you just got me literally fired from my job. Thank you. Ma'am, I did not. I did not tell you to drink and drive tonight. I know you I'm doing my job. But that's not what I'm saying. I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is a cop, and all of this. Is yes, ma'am. The cops discovered that they had also handcuffed her purse. She therefore made an effort to justify her driving while intoxicated by claiming that even cops may make mistakes, just as she did. So you're taking okay. me to Indian County? Yes, ma'am. Let me get this off the, uh, okay. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, here, we'll try to... I'm sorry. There's nothing on... Oh, oh my God. Sorry. That, that, was a, that was a mistake. We handcuffed your bag in the, uh, so. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, you made a mistake? Are you saying you made a mistake on camera? Yeah, oh, I made a mistake by handcuffing your purse. He made a mistake. Oh, there we go. He Man, if you can just mistake. sit still, we're trying to get your... Right, he made a mistake by not taking the purse off me. Yeah, is he going to be disciplined? Is he going to be addressed? Is he going to be All right, what else you got on you? Nothing. Oh, you nothing. Your phone. oh God, nothing. Don't right. love a on that. Okay, do you want to bring this with you or can I put it back in your car? It's my lipstick. It's, it's lipstick. Do you want to bring it with you to the jail or do you want it left in the jail? Do you think I want to put lipstick in the jail? I'm just asking you. Okay, we'll put it back in your car then. At this moment, the cop placed the suspect into his car so that he could take her to the police station. 
However, the suspect continued to be belligerent and threatened the cop that she would file a lawsuit against him. It doesn't matter. No, because I'm going to sue you. I am going to sue you. All right, watch your head getting in. Yep, I got it. I'm suing you. You don't even know how fast I was going. You just told me. You didn't know how fast I was going. I'm suing you. What is said? What is said again? I'm suing you. I'm suing you. I'm suing you. Are you suing me because I don't know how fast you were going? Because you have no reason to arrest me. You have no reason to arrest me. And this is all on camera. It's all on tape. Alright, just sit back for me, okay? Man? No! F*** you! Yes! The suspect persisted in blaming the cop for the reason he had stopped her and claiming that he had committed legal mistakes. You have no right to arrest me at all. You couldn't even articulate no, you said the camera. You couldn't articulate why you pulled me over. Well, I didn't pull you over. I was stopping to check on you, okay? Because you pulled over to the side of the roadway. No, you couldn't articulate why you pulled me over. Did I say I pulled you over? You're f***ed. You're f***ed. Okay. You're f***ed. So, you're familiar with the DI-177? chemical test rights. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you anymore. All right, well, I have to read this to no, you. No, I'm not talking to you anymore. All right, well, I have to read. You don't have to talk to me, but... Fine, I'll listen. All right, um, before I read this, if you deny consent for the blood draw, that's automatically your license is suspended. All right. During the transportation to the police station, the suspect was let out of her handcuffs. Nevertheless, at one point, the suspect attempted to grab for something that was inside the vehicle, which caused the cop to get irritated and eventually made the decision to put her back in handcuffs. Ma'am? No. What are you doing? You need to hear the truth. Do you want to get a felony on your record? No, listen. It's not a felony. That's mine. You put it there. Okay. Then tell the truth. Tell the truth. I put it there. Then tell the truth. Okay. Listen. Ma'am. Then tell the truth. What do you want me to say? Tell the truth. Okay, I'm going to get out and we're going to put you in handcuffs again, okay? I'll put my hand behind myself. Go ahead and do that right Close now. Close the door. Close the door. I'll do it right now. Listen. Nope. I'll do it right now. Close the door. Do you want me to tell people you're not telling the truth? What's that? Do you want me to tell people you're not what telling am I the not truth? I'm telling the truth, on? Please tell me. I'm putting it. I I just put it. I just put it back. Well, in. I have to put you back in handcuffs. No, so I just put. On. I just put it back in. Look. Sit back. Look. I just. Put, I did it. I told you the truth. I put it back in. I'm not gonna lie. To sum it up, Valerie O'Brien faces one count of driving while intoxicated and one count of carrying a concealed handgun while intoxicated with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.1 or higher. She was given a 12-month probationary period for driving under the influence along with 40 hours of community service and required treatment. In addition, she'll have to pay $2,000 in state penalties. In the months that passed between her arrest and sentencing, she resigned from her position. In the town of DeBerry, Florida, a routine traffic stop on November 30th, 2021, led deputies to Jonathan Buchanan, 31. A 25-year-old woman's distress call revealed that Jonathan had followed her while jogging. While well, seeking refuge with construction workers, she snapped a photo of his silver Dodge Caliber, which led to Buchanan's arrest. The swift action taken by this woman helped save her life. Otherwise, you never know what harm he could do. One Alpha 60 Central Traffic Stop. One Alpha 60. South Show in Springview on Florida Quebec Whiskey Yankee Romeo 78. Be on a silver Dodge Caliber with one. Morning, how you doing? Good. What's up with your taillight, man? It's busted. Broken? Yeah, it's emitting a white light. 
how the uh, the reflector thing came up, the sticker came off of it? Yeah, I don't know. It's got a white white light. Instead of a brake light? Yeah. Uh, you got. I'll get it fixed today. Okay, you got your driver's license, registration, insurance. Where are you headed to this morning, boss? What you do for work? You work for a glass company? Okay. Are you the registered owner of this car? Yes, sir. Okay. Is your license good? Yes, sir. When was the last time you had a ticket? Uh, it's been a while. I actually, uh, I'm on probation. Too, but... You're on probation? Okay. Let me give you the registration. Okay, yeah, that's fine. What you on probation for? Attempted uh, kidnapping. Attempted kidnapping? Yeah. Holy shit. Got me on that, but I'm not guilty of that. I'm not innocent, but I'm not guilty of that. So. Okay. All right. So where are you staying at now? I live right around the corner. Here. Where do you live at? Off that road that I came from. I don't know where you came from. Uh, Smyrna. You live on Smyrna. How long have you been living in Smyrna for? Not, not too long. I know I get okay. Well, how long have you been living there for? Three months? Four months? Yeah, okay. Thirty days. Over thirty days. To be with you. Okay. All right. You've been living there for, what do you do, rent a place over there or something? What's even more shocking is that Buchanan was already on probation for attempted kidnapping. The officers were astounded. Probation for such a serious offense seemed unbelievable. Despite his troubled history, Buchanan remains confident, steadfastly claiming his innocence. This guy deserves an Oscar. Take a look at your license and stuff real quick and then uh, we'll go, go from there, all right? All right, man. Uh, say, if you're going to use um, anything on that, you're going to have to use some red tape on there, okay? Yes, sir. Do me a favor. Go ahead and put your phone down. Turn around and put your hands behind your back for me, okay? Don't do nothing stupid. You understand me? Okay? Uh, be careful with my right wrist, please. What's the matter with your right wrist? It's, uh, I just had surgery on it. Your right one? Yes, sir. Which one? This one here? Yeah. Hold it. Let me see it. Will you undo the sleeve? Put your hands behind your back for me, right there. Okay, don't move. I'm gonna tell you what's going on here in just a minute, okay? Okay, all right, so check this out. Come over here to the car real quick for me. It's a criminal violation in the state of Florida not to change your registration on your address on your car, okay? You're on 10 years of felony probation. Okay, you committed a new law violation or state statute, okay? okay? So with that being said, you're going to be taken into custody on a traffic violation. Your probation is going to be violated on site, okay? Yes, no bond. I'm going to tell you what else is going on, okay? I'm going to read you your rights real quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say will be against you, used against your court of law. You have the right to an attorney to have him or her present with you now or any time during questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. Anytime you wish to remain silent or have an attorney present, all questions will be stopped. Do you understand that? Finally, he found himself in custody. As the officers read him his rights, he didn't hold back, expressing his concern about his suspicious behavior. Shockingly, he also revealed that he had been monitoring him the previous night and was on the verge of making an arrest. Yeah, we got your tag number, we got everything. Your progression and your behavior is very concerning, okay? I was gonna arrest you last night. I don't understand what, what uh, well, you're sitting here talking about. Okay, well the jogger that you pulled up in front of and stopped her the other day and got out and you went up and down shelf four or five times, she got you on video, okay? Your, your behavior is very disturbing as to what's going on. So what was that about with her? With who? The girl that was about a week ago down here on Shell Road. You went up and down the road, you drove on the opposite side of the road. She got you all on video. Okay. What was that all about? Did I say anything to her? No. Why were you following her? I wasn't following anybody. You were. She's got you on video. Okay. Driving down the road or following? Four, four times. Four okay. times you went back and forth. Okay. Then you pulled over to the opposite side of the road to try to talk to her. Okay. This is going to be your chance to explain this to me. Uh, you drove on the wrong side of the road and you were trying to talk to her. So what was going on with that? I wasn't trying to talk to anybody. Did I say anything? Uh, Why were you even... I what? just get a lawyer. That's all. Okay. That's no, that's no problem. Well... You're going to need one. 
In the end, Jonathan Buchanan has found himself in hot water once again. This time, the charges that led to his arrest are failing to update his address, a criminal traffic violation, and a violation of probation. But the plot thickens when you dig into his past. Buchanan was previously convicted of attempting to kidnap a 16-year-old girl in Ponce Inlet. Well, after seeing Jonathan, I'm sure you haven't witnessed this level of audacity before. On July 10, 2022, the calm in West Seattle was disrupted when Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal and her husband, Steve Williamson, faced a troubling situation outside their home. A group fueled by racial slurs and threats harassed Jayapal in a similar incident on July 2nd. The situation got worse later that night when the harassers came back making weird noises like a pellet or BB gun. In response, Seattle police promptly arrested Forsell, one of the individuals, on charges of harassment. Backwards. Towards us. Keep walking backwards. Do we have the arresting? What are you arresting? Keep for? keep walking keep backwards. Walking. Am I being arrested? We'll tell you in a second. Come walking backwards. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. No. Okay, then why am I being arrested? Keep be walking arrested. backwards. Why am I being arrested? You're being detained. Okay. Walk backwards. <laughs> keep walking. Keep walking. Can't come through my back. I have a bad neck. Keep walking. You guys want to move? I have a hernia disc in my neck. Okay, just relax. My neck. Relax. Relax. I'm relaxed. You relax. Okay. All right. Even yours, please. Be careful. Okay. 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 Okay
Wow, you, you sound shocked to hear that. You can't camp in someone else's property. It's not their property, is it? It's city property. It is. Where am I setting up right there? Go find a property line then. Tell me. I'm sorry if I'm being a but that's what it's come down to in this country. Okay. Uh, and if you're going to take me to jail we, we for nothing, I'm going to sue like every one of you. Like we said, you're being detained. You're being detained. I get okay. that. You're I get that. I've done you, I, did your, I did your job long before you did. Okay, so great. So you understand that right now? Yes. I understand only, my only rights. I understand see, all of my rights. Me. What's your name? Brett. Brett. We're going to put you not in the back of the coffin. Brett. No, you're not going to. Why? Just for now. It's too then hot back there. The Let me sit on the side of the road. No, we can't do that. You could. No. You could. No. You won't. I won't. Okay. Sit in back of the At least you admit okay. it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. At least you admit you won't. Why? What a f response. Just, maybe, How many cops are here? Five? Wow. Jesus. It takes it takes like an hour to get that many people. We try to make it easy for you. Make it's it going to be me, easy. Okay? What's going to happen if I get in there? But nothing more than what you're, you're saying. Gonna we're going to make our investigation. You're going to take me to jail for no reason? We're going to do our investigation right now. We're investigating right now. We don't know what's going on. We need I to figure out what's going on. I will help you with your investigation. Okay? Well, we will listen to what you have to say, but we I want you to that. sit here. No, I'm telling you. I really doubt that. We're going to listen to what you have to say. I really, really Fred Forsell was charged with felony stalking. The accusation stems from an incident where he reportedly stood outside U.S. Representative Pramila Jayapal's home shouting bad words and carrying a handgun. The court set his bail at a hefty $500,000. According to official documents, Forsell owned up to yelling but denied making comments about Jayapal's race or urging harm towards her. He also admitted to driving by Jayapal's home and shouting again. Interestingly, he stated that his only issue with Jayapal was her political beliefs and being a Democrat, as per court records. Well, unlike these people, there's the last in this line, a person who brought himself to the cage of law. In Cleveland County, Oklahoma, on June 13th, 2022, body cam footage shows police officers stopping an elderly man in his car and subsequently arresting him for engaging with a young girl on social networking sites. The 68-year-old man had sent a message to a female officer in Cleveland County, mistakenly thinking that he was communicating with a 14-year-old girl. After their online interaction, he was arrested upon driving to the agreed-upon meeting place. Check this out. Oh, I'll get 
Money talks to you, all right? But the best part, the best thing you can do, I, I'm not pushing you, I'm not going to ask you anything. I'm just saying when they do, don't be us because it's going to make it worse. All right? Be truthful. We'll work through this and see what we can do. I'm telling you what I said okay. from the very beginning. Well, somebody at some I point said... I'm not what I, I, I may appear to you. You're not what you appear to Okay. Ross? Just, I mean, talking to her. I'm just giving you some advice, okay? If she was, uh, At some point, somebody's going to want to talk to you. Yeah. Don't be at some point. Be straightforward, tell them the truth, and we'll I, work out something. I'm just saying, sir, what I, what I actually happened. What, okay. I'm, okay. Not, uh, I'm not a criminal. I'm not a uh, whatever. You're not? Okay. All right, well, it's probably going to be the fellow in the green shirt that's going to talk to you. Not this fellow, but the other fellow. Okay, sure. So, whenever you talk to you, just, uh, that's the only advice I'm going to give you. It's just don't BS and tell the truth. I promise. I guess the voices were garbled to mask the sound of the female officer's voice. Well, after the 68-year-old suspect was taken into custody, the following accusations were made against him. A felony charge for soliciting sexual conduct or communication with a minor by use of technology. 